Yeah, we're back with the Opie and Anthony show. Monster Rain from Rochester. Hell no to HCO. H2O. Wasn't that what the people of New Orleans were saying? Well, that song is stuck in a lot of people's heads today. <laughs> Stephen Lynch in studio. He's playing the ONA Travel and Virus Comedy Show this Saturday in Camden, New Jersey, across the river from Philly. And, of course, Louis C.K. will also be there, and he's in the studio as well. Hello, it's his birthday, and he uh, walked in just bitching and complaining. I don't know. <laughs> uh, you were supposed to be here a while ago, I think. I know. What, what happened? Bad morning. Well, I would. Uh, I walked my daughter to school with my wife uh, uh, and on the way here, and of course, my daughter won't carry her backpack. She won't carry her own backpack because uh, it's impossible. <laughs> <laughs> it took want... forever just to get her to a corner where I could get a cab here. Yeah, and she keeps crouching her whole body to the sidewalk and just saying, "It's cold, and I can't carry this, and I want someone to carry me." She just won't walk to school. Right. It's torture. Isn't she 15? <laughs> yeah. 15 in kindergarten. <laughs> and so I'm like, you got it. This is it. This is life. You got to go to school. Just go. I didn't like it either. Yeah. And uh, and she makes me carry her backpack, and uh, which I carry. There's no point to it being a backpack because I carry it. It might yeah. as well be a grown-up backpack. A, a briefcase. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Instead of a pink. That's a shea case. Uh, Hello Kitty backpack. Aww. And so then uh, I get to finally a corner where I'm soaked in sweat, and I get to a corner. And it's my birthday. Nobody nobody cares. Happy birthday. I mean, there, whatever. Absolutely. Whatever. My, that, it, the whole my birthday thing stopped at, you know, very early in the morning. <laughs> Few gifts, forget, you know. So then I get in a cab, and um, I get here. As soon as I get here, I realize I have have her backpack, of course. Oh, boy. Well, now, how is she going to get any kindergarten work done without Not all of the tools that you need to take yeah. with you? There's to nothing kindergarten. in What the is backpack. in there that she needs? There's a folder in which they put notes for us. That's all For it you. Is. It's, her backpack is a mailbag for us. <laughs> yes. That's all it is. And there's a water bottle, a little pink water bottle, which is there because they don't give them water in the public school. you got to send them with water or else they die. They just dehydrate. Yeah. So my wife, I called her because I had my phone off this morning, so I called her to say, Say I, I I have her. She goes. I know you have her backpack. She's crying. Come back and bring it. And I'm like, I'm at I'm at work right now. And she says, So come back here and bring her backpack. So yeah. How does that? That's not a thing yeah. you can say. So to. So once somebody here is being very nice from your show and gonna bring it down to the school. But and I called her to tell her that. She's like, Yeah, fine. So it's, Wait, not, it's not my birthday anymore. It's not being my birthday. So what, that's what? it. I, I evaporated my entire birthday goodwill. But your wife mistake. is now mad because you're not bringing the backpack yeah. to, your, to your daughter. Even yeah. though you're making arrangements to have it dropped off. Even though I'm making arrangements to have it dropped off and I'm here doing what I do professionally. By the way, make sure we know who's bringing it because there are a couple of people on our staff that aren't allowed within 100 yards of a school. <laughs> well, yeah, I know. I know. I thought <laughs> of that. Depending on I their criminal past or what they're carrying on them. Yeah. Who's bringing it? Who? Right, cool. Not Pat Duffy. Uh, he's the one, yeah. He probably who, can't go near a uh, school. Yeah, the fellow who brushed his teeth with dog poop. And yeah. got thrown up in the face. But yeah. yeah. That's who's... has a further education already. Wait, that idiot. <laughs> yeah, yeah you should this. just stop in there maybe learn something. Happy yeah. birthday, Lou. Oh, thanks, he's fellas. dead before the next one. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> you and me both, my friend. That must have been a nice birthday for a couple of years, September 12th. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, no. Hey, I, happy birthday. Oh, did you? No, oh the tragedy. September 10th, I, I, we had my birthday party early because I was flying to L.A. on the, uh, the the big one. Yeah. And I, I flew the night before to L.A., uh, but we had a big birthday party for me in our backyard, and I, my wife got me a piñata, which we... Oh, like a traditional... The head of that piñata still hangs in our backyard. Really? It, it's just this symbol of the last normal moment. Oh, yeah, our yeah. Lives. It's just this withering. <laughs> or you're just a lazy Mexican. <laughs> oh, well. Who doesn't clean up his pinata? His own yard. <laughs> I bet you got some this morning, though, right? A little birthday? A l some what? <laughs> some what? I don't know how it is on the old birthday. You know, you're going to need to go beyond innuendo for me to understand, because I didn't get nothing on my birthday. No. I got a pen. <laughs> a nice pen? It was a nice pen. It's a cross pen. Yeah. There are nicer pens. <laughs> a cross, a cross a pen. A pen on your birthday is good if it's sticking out of a vagina. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you can't say I that. But it's, uh, yeah, but it's So you can't say that Wednesday. Wait, the pinata, what was it? Like it SpongeBob? Was, no, it was... <laughs> 
What? It was a burro, you know. A Don't burro, think. an authentic so it was uh, a real Spanish yeah. piñata. Uh, so we just make fun of your whole tradition when we go ahead, man. Get the SpongeBob one for the we, yeah. seven-year-old. Oh, Americanize yeah. uh, the yeah, piñata. Yeah, but if, if Mexicans grew up with uh, SpongeBob's, they would use them. They don't. It's yeah, not like burros have some. No one no says burros. It's burro. <laughs> it's a burro. burro. It's a burro. It's the burro of Queens. We don't say burro. It's the burro of Brooklyn. But burro is is probably correct. Burro. And what is that? A bull. No, it's the no, donkey. it's a it's a donkey. jackass. It's, it's, it's a ass. It's a you know, <laughs> it's a half, jackass. You burro. An animal that's half. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Half horse, half donkey. Yeah. It's a burro. Are they the ones that are sterile? When they're born, yeah, they can't. They, yeah, they, they can't reproduce. They can't really? reproduce. They're you can only, end. they're yeah. genetic dead end. You can only make one by breeding like a. It's a horse and a donkey. Horse and a donkey makes a burro. A, makes a, and, it's and a, a horse burro. and a donkey. A burro, yeah, oh, shoot, and then they can't mate with each other. It's yeah. the only animal that has that. It's a mutant. Yeah, it's mutant. Yeah. 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 Wow. A horse and a donkey. Well, you know, I'm sure one is very happy and one is like, come on, all right, just hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know who, I don't know, I think it, well, I guess it's going away. It has to be a male horse. Why? There's no way a female horse is tolerating some pesky donkey on a ladder. <laughs> what do you know about female horses in there? Believe me, very yeah. realistic. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. He's just saying, the horse. yeah, the height thing yeah. would be a problem. Yeah. That's yeah, what he's so. getting at. You think so. a donkey isn't as apt to uh, be able to accept certain things than, than perhaps some videos you've watched? It is. It is. A donkey is able to physically do that, but I'm saying the height difference it makes it a problem. Horse. Yeah, like the horse has to be very patient and allow the donkey put its stupid hooves up and hoist yeah. itself, and no horse is waiting through that. <laughs> no horse. Yeah, because usually horse sex is a much more beautiful act. <laughs> yeah, it really is. <laughs> It's just this mess. I know. I don't want to. It looks like it's not clumsy at all. Yeah. No, it looks hey. like a fireman let like let go of the hose. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's that's what it, what it looks like. It looks like a hose. Oh, somebody lost, this, lost grip of. <laughs> yeah, it's quick. Turn that off. It's going all over. Can we get Pat Duffy on the phone? I want to see how the backpack thing's going. Well, he hasn't left yet because I got it. My wife. Oh, here she is. I got. Hold on a second. All right, <laughs> boy. Hey. <laughs> oh, Okay, so he brings it to Raquel in the office. And what does he tell the guard? What does he tell the guard when he gets there? He tells the guard that he needs to give his backpack to Raquel. Okay. Because, Look at him. Her dad forgot to give her her backpack and right. he tells us to bring it to the office and she'll bring it. Okay. Right, he'll, yeah. He'll slide the pack from here. Okay. Look, look at it. All right, I'm really sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, I know. She must have gone nuts. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Thank you. I'm really sorry, and I'll call you after radio. All right. All right. Bye. bye. Oh, wow. Oh, dude, that's I hysterical. Say, I think Lou was apologizing. She didn't seem like she, she was like, all right, have fun. No, she's okay now. Yeah, she's, she's all right. You can right. tell. Yeah. I, it's, I think a lot of it is me. I think I, oh, I, think I, feel, I fill in a lot of blanks with guilt. I'm so she to... just she was just quiet. She didn't say it's okay last time I talked yeah. to her. So I'm like, oh, yeah. she's mad. But but she did have to explain she... to you the misery of the whole thing and yeah, how she had to get out of the water yes, and how she that. was crying and everything. Yeah. It's just a, that's that was good. good. That's yeah, a she didn't yeah. say me that. I like that. <laughs> and no happy birthday. No. no there's not a... No, I love you. Oh, by the way, happy birthday. No, I love you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, happy nothing. birthday. Hey, have fun. You were looking at oh, Pat look. Duffy, though, and laughing. Um, I'm laughing so that this is the guy. Dude, he's got his forearm tat. 
Yeah. He's wearing his, his uh, a, Honest Abe Lincoln beard. Yeah. His Amish beard. Oh, yeah. He's got a Frank the Tank shirt on <laughs> yeah. with a picture of a tank on it. Yeah, so you're going to an elementary school to deliver a pink Hello Kitty backpack to yeah. the kindergartner right now. Yes. Yeah. You need to go. You need to see a woman named Rachel. He's taking it to Rachel. Raquel. Okay. Raquel, Raquel, you don't yeah. <laughs> You aren't listening. Oh, oh my God, you aren't listening. <laughs> Your wife is right. I, I suddenly see her point of view. <laughs> Lou is an idiot. I didn't hear a word of it. <laughs> He'd be looking for this Rachel. I need to find Rachel. They're like locking down the school, hiding the Rachels that go there. He's going around every corner. <laughs> Rachel. Rachel, I've got your back. Back. <laughs> a lot of people pointing out that you're a beaten man on this feedback, Lou. Oh, totally. Oh, that conversation was just like, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. I know. Uh-huh. <laughs> Uh, what were you hearing in your brain during that conversation? You know what? I White noise or actually, not Raquel? She, <laughs> Charlie Brown's teacher? She wah, was wah, being wah. pretty nice. Yeah. Uh... Uh, considering that it's my birthday and I didn't do anything wrong, really, yeah. and I just made a mistake and I'm rectifying it. Yeah, you're fixing Considering it. all that, she was being pretty, <laughs> pretty nice. Well, th you just said you were sorry twice. I'm like, why are you sorry, Lily? Like, it was, she, I know. Like, I could hear her talking. It wasn't like she was bitching at you. She was like, yeah, she was, you know how she just freaks out. Like, they were preemptive I'm sorry's. Yeah, well, they were from before, from the oh, way okay. sounded last time I told so I, they were owed. I would never apologize yeah. like that. I would just be angry back. Yeah, well, you that's can't, Jimmy you can't get through, you know. Oh, you're probably right. That's Jimmy yeah. rolls. Yeah, that's how you act with a girlfriend who, right. who right. Where there's no stakes except right. P-U-S-S. -S, I'll leave the last one off for saving. <laughs> <laughs> well, Puss is enough. <laughs> Puss is enough for a reason. Yeah, not true. Yeah, no, you got it. Mm. All right. It's like the UN. It's there's some. I'm trying to get a diplomatic. Oh my God, he's solution. Wear, to look, he's war. wearing it. He's wearing it. Oh so, God. You know, oh oh God, that's kind of gross. It's been fouled that's like now. Like a guy wearing your daughter's panties. Oh <laughs> yeah, he's fouled it. Let me see the back of that. What is it? Hello Kitty. Oh, it is a little Hello Kitty one. All right, it's adorable. That's a, to get it off the pal talk, that's enough exploitation by the <laughs> most disgusting show on the face of, the earth, of my beautiful little daughter. I know. And her, and her bad her day. Little, her little Hello Kitty backpack. Yeah. Can we go through the backpack, see what's in there? No. <laughs> I told you that's in I, I told you water. what's in there. Yeah. There's the water bottle here. Turn around. You see the pink water bottle? Uh, yeah. It's that, adorable. Yeah. It's, and it's all sparkly. That's nice. It's got little sparkles I, on it. I picked it out with her. It's way too big for her. Is yeah. it? Yeah, it looks pretty big. I did it. It was a real Pat father's Duffy. job of picking something out for his daughter. Yeah. And uh, my wife was like, oh, it's awful big. And then the teacher said, that's really big. Oh, so you, you, you I, screwed up. Yeah, completely. <laughs> what did you think? I mean, look, it fits him. It fits Pat Duffy. He could actually use that. It's yeah. so practical for him. That would be good, though, if your daughter starts selling encyclopedias. She can carry them all <laughs> yeah. in this thing. Jesus. Yeah, I know. No. She's two. Encyclopedias. She's five, but anyway. <laughs> All right. And if she takes a time machine back to the 50s, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. sells encyclopedias. That's actually, yeah. people still do that door to door. Do they? No. Of course not. <laughs> they don't. No. Nobody does. <laughs> All right, well, Pat. How, how far of a, a tr don't tell exactly where it is or anything, but like in a rate, you know, miles. Uh, about four miles. By the time you get there, school's gonna be over. I know. Yeah. It's kindergarten. Well, don't no, they go for three. forty-five minutes? Still three. Oh. It's a whole day. Oh, wow. 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 Yeah, it's a major. That's rough. Totally, it's a massive difference. That's more life. time for you. I went for wife. like ten she's minutes. Been, she's been home every day. I mean, she we went to preschool, but it was like you go, you drop her off, and then you turn around, you go home, you take a dump, and go back and get it. <laughs> yeah. That's all it was. Oh, but she just started kindergarten. She started kindergarten oh. this last uh, Tuesday. Had she do day. first day with it being so long? Well, the so first long. day was just till eleven. And oh, the kind of second day was just eleven, into it. and then till three thirty. <laughs> At eleven, was she like, "Hey, what's the deal?" Well, she was happy. She liked it. They did a few fun yeah. things. And then she grew up all at once in one phone call to me because I called her and oh, said, uh, Jesus. how was your first long day? And she always just says, oh, you know, fun. Nothing. Yeah. She says, I don't like lunch and I don't like recess. <laughs> wow. And I go, why? Well, at lunch, the teacher's not there. I'm just at a table. And which imagine that. And then she goes, and at recess, all the kids I know run away and play and I don't know where they go. And then I just walk around and watch other kids play, and I don't. And then I get sad. Oh, sit, that is the saddest <laughs> thing I've ever heard in my life. Oh, my heart broken too. I wanted to kill myself. Why? Should have. 
She just now she likes it. She had a few days and she found it. Is she I said to her, people? "Go up to a kid." I was having trouble and with it. Punch him because <laughs> she's having memories that I remember now. Oh, like up until now when she was, you know, when they're three, you're like, so what? She won't remember this, you know. They I'll do. punch her in the face. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to wipe the hard drive in a minute. It doesn't matter. <laughs> It starts recording at five. Yeah, at five you press yeah. record. You know, you make a really good point. It's really I don't remember weird. anything before kindergarten. No, they had it, nothing. Nothing mattered. But now uh, she's going to have real memories. But so I said to her, try going up to one of the kids before recess. Mm. Recess is crazy. Nobody's going to listen to you. Right. <laughs> Go up to a kid screaming. earlier in the day and say, can you tell me where you're going to play later so I can be there? And I realized I'm doing what my dad used to give me way too grown up. This is like office <laughs> politics advice I'm giving her. <laughs> yeah. She's in kindergarten. She's going to go, excuse me, um, Tiana. Um, could you let me know where you guys are planning to play so that I can uh, interface with you? Because when I got I got beat up in school, and my dad told made me memorize a speech that I was supposed to give to the kids that used to pick on me. Wow, what was the speech? Me, what was it was it? a whole thing of you must respect me as your equal. <laughs> oh, I am God. not. Here that must have worked you. really well. <laughs> you know, I have I have a right to my own integrity as a person, and I, he made me memorize it and say it back to him. A bunch of times. Who's your father? The president? That's like a presidential thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, my dad's out of his mind. Did it? Mexican. Did it work at all? I didn't do it. Oh, I okay. it. <laughs> then it just became I have to make my dad happy that he that I'm going to say this. I thought perhaps, but you know, I'll never say it. I am I I am owed my own space, my own dignity, yeah, just as you. I, oh, oh, <laughs> ow, oh yeah. God, stop, punch, <laughs> ow. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> that's terrible. Right. We got to end this side of the show. Oh, oh. I, I I wanted to get into that a little more. That's Sorry. that's horrible. Well, you know, for next time. Oh, but she's making friends now. Like she is. She's making friends. She found okay, a friend good. and they play some hula hoop game. Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah, today is. I think um, she's now shunning other kids. Oh really? Yeah, I think she as is. long as she does it on her own accord, that's fine. Yeah. But if she's looking to play and the kids like run away and she's alone somewhere, that is heartbreaking. That is oh. really sad for a five year old. Oh, and unfortunately for her today is um, show off your backpack and water bottle. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. <laughs> We'll Someone's like Pat. Du- <laughs> Someone's saying Pat Duffy doesn't give a ass. He's probably getting a Hello Kitty tattoo as we speak. <laughs> <He's> probably <laughs> right. Uh, plugs, Lynch. You got anything besides the big show? Uh, my space has all my tour dates. I'm leaving uh, tomorrow to start in Boston and finish up this weekend in Camden with you guys, and uh, then I'm hitting the road, Virginia and DC, and yeah, just go to MySpace. Stephen Lynch. Stephen Lynch on MySpace. Lou, I'm in Orlando at the Hard Rock uh, this Friday. And my tour is all over the country on MySpace also. And both these guys will be at our show on Saturday in Camden. And I think it's still yeah. available. Jimmy. I plug superdeluxe.com because me and Florentine did those uh, things on it, like newscasters. And, you know, check it out. I hope you like it. All right. Tomorrow we'll be live from Philly. For everybody in the Philly area, just keep listening to YSP for all the details. Make it easy for everybody, all right? Right. All right. You. If you're not joining us over at XM, have a great day. Opie and Anthony. Opie and Anthony. It's the Opie and Anthony Show. Hi. The Opie and Anthony Show is returning. Hello. Sans Opie and Anthony. <clears throat> I'm Opie. No, I want to be Opie. All right, you're Opie. All right, you could be. You have red hair. You be Opie. Yeah, I'm Opie. I blow it. I already said they're not here. Fuck. But no, none of our listeners know what Sans means. Oh, no. Oh, Anthony's here. Good. Oh, there he is. I'm so happy. Oh, there they are. They're back. Louis was settling into Anthony's chair, <laughs> yeah, and we Anthony had, marched right back in. Play at least one sound effect. They told effect. us we had to host the show. Damn. Hope's going to the toilet to relax for a few minutes. And uh, we were doing a little production. Louis just straightened his back and got ready to enjoy that scene. I know. Well, that. I know. <laughs> we already did the real show. This is the uh, who gives us. Ah, this is, this is the story. phoned it in part. Everyone knows. Exactly. The already been paid show. Yeah. I will say I love uh, Free FM, but I uh, I always have more fun here. I uh, say what ooh, I want to say. Yes. Mm. But mm. the advantage we don't have bosses for at least another. And no bosses yeah. or anything. This is where it would take a while for them to prove that this show sucks. Yeah. Like on real yeah. radio, it's the advertisers call the next five minutes and say, we didn't like that. Didn't like it. There's a problem. We get called in for a meeting or something yeah. like that. But we- they'd have to be like three months later, Jesus, nobody's subscribing anymore. Yeah, what happened? <laughs> we, we noticed like six months ago there was might have been a problem. Yeah, everything's very retroactive on this side. Yeah. I think for Louis' birthday, can we please get someone to suck his dick? 
Wow. Please. Jimmy, oh. if you're uh, if you're up for it. Not as a man. Dick. He wouldn't, I'm not saying Lou would stray. He probably wouldn't. But he, it was mm -hmm. just the idea that somebody would offer to suck it would make him happy. Ah. If there was somebody that would suck my dick, that would be a nice birthday present. Just the like, idea. That... It's just the conceptual birthday present. Yeah. Not to get my dick sucked, but that there's somebody who would. Who honestly would. Yeah. Like yes. a girl who would say, look, I'll, I'll suck it for you right now. And you'd go, like, I can't. Go, I can't, but that was nice. And then you'd just go and scrap thinking of her offer. Exactly. Which is very nice. <laughs> and then I'd get really weird in my head about it. And then, uh, like, oh, I really wanted her to suck it, but I am married. And then and then I'd follow her home and hit her in the head in an alley or something. <laughs> you'd have to. Fuck her dead mouth. <laughs> and that would be my only way of dealing with it. Kind of like fucking, kind of like fucking, like uh, 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 what's his name, uh, Amon Gert, and his uh, Jewish uh, house girl. Like he mm -hmm. liked her, and he's walking around her, but he's getting angrier and angrier yeah. Yeah. because he likes her, and that's kind of what that is. That's what happens when you try to remain honest Positive. or do something that's moral, mm -hmm. it, and it ends up in you killing somebody and fucking their dead mouth. <laughs> Always. Always. <laughs> I mean, that's been my experience. <laughs> Even in business situations. Yes. Ask Oscar Schindler. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. He probably raped a lot of those Jewish girls. You th don't you think? Jesus. On on this Rosh Hashanah, you're going to make <laughs> jokes like that? I'm not joking. I could, I'm not joking. I'm completely serious. I'm pretty sure he did. I'm, I'm essential to the war effort. One-armed guy shoveling snow. <laughs> God, I love his soul. <laughs> In that movie, there's a scene where he's uh, he has to get a, pick a secretary. So he's got these girls all interviewing, and they're all so cute. And it's a funny scene yeah. of him going, like, which girl will I pick and flirt with all the time? Yeah, there's, yeah. There's this underlying joke of, like, and the rest will die in a gas chamber. <laughs> <laughs> like, tee he. -hee. Was I hope that... you have nice tits so that they won't be sewn to your sister's face, and then you get, <laughs> and then what? You get burned. <laughs> what movie was that? Schindler's List. Oh yeah, yeah when, Schindler's List. Okay. Picking secretary, and then he wound up going with, uh, with uh, what's that cunt face? His name who blew us off, <laughs> Ben something. Ben. Kingsley. Ben oh, Ben Kingsley. Kingsley. Oh, Ben Kingsley. Wonderful actor, though. Fair, yeah, fair, great. Fair. Thanks. No. Thanks for nothing. As a person, he's a cunt face bag of shit. But as an actor, he is. Yeah, but every part he plays, it's just like if Gandhi did this, or if <laughs> yeah, Gandhi, yeah, if Gandhi worked for Oscar Schindler, <laughs> or if Gandhi was a mobster from England. Gandhi's a businessman. Yeah. It's like if Gandhi was an actor. Because he's, he's Gandhi. more Gandhi than yeah. he is. He's, Who he is, yeah. yeah. That's just it. It's his persona now. <laughs> yeah. Gandhi played chess. Yeah, Bobby exactly. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. I remember that one. That was a good one. Searching for Bobby Fischer. Yeah. Why would I watch that? It's a great movie. You play chess. Yeah, I don't. Why, but Larry Fishburne, Joe, Joe Montana. You I don't know? care who's in it. It's a chess movie. But it's not. It's about How human exciting spirit. could that be? It's very right. very no. Where Ben Kingsley's telling the kid to try to find a move on a chessboard. <laughs> yeah. And then he, the kid can't find it, so he swipes away all the pieces. Wow. All right, I might have and to says, see that now. Now, now find now it. Now see it. And that's how those and the guys kid see the chess is able to see it then when no pieces were there. Yeah. <laughs> those guys. Isn't that exciting? Gets the shit. But no. You yeah, and Larry Fishburne is the streetwise. Yeah, he's uh, the one. You've got to come and get Park. my king. Yeah. 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 Uh, oh, 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 trying to teach him like yeah, yeah. in street, in street, street lingo. Chess. Yeah, right. What chess is like? Shut the fuck no, up. No, he's watching. They go. Oh, I bring hate bring that. Bring out the queen, kid. Listen, bring out the yo, king. Yo, man, it's I'm true. the king. This is my this is my turf. You got to come and get my king. Oh, oh, oh wow. shut up. It's chess. Listen, <laughs> those guys in Washington Square Park, those homeless guys. A lot of them are playing for food and booze. They are like master level players. They're bums. Really? Yeah. They're very grandmasters when they come to to the city will a lot of times go to the park and play and, those guys. and play those guys because they're animals. Like you're playing two and piss games. themselves. Well, they're very. They belong in their pants. That's the difference. <laughs> Bobby their pants. Fisher flew first class. Hey, the Jews flew first class. Yeah. And they shit their pants. If one of them is missing a pawn, they could just reach in and pull a nugget of shit out of their <laughs> underwear and plop it down. They, they do that in Harvard Square too, in Boston. Yeah, yeah, same thing. That. These Man. guys look homeless, but they mm -hmm. can kick your ass. A lot of them are chest. drunks. And fucking, they play and they taunt you. Like they talk a lot of shit, but you, like you move a piece. There's and... chess smack that they're talking. Oh, boom, boom, boom. No, they're it turns into fights sometimes. Some yeah. Really? Guy gets up from the table and starts yelling. And... Chess fight. Dude, they're geniuses. These guys are geniuses. They're just drunks and they're crazy, but they're brilliant. I went to the chess shop in the village once. No, you didn't. 
<laughs> yes. Chess shop. Yeah, it's a place where like you know, yeah, people from uh, Many times. Eastern Europe go and they play chess and oh, drink okay. bad coffee and suck each other's dicks. <laughs> and boy, oh. dicks. No. <laughs> so I, I used to go in there and try, but they don't even play you if you. They could just see on my face that I sucked, and they wouldn't. Really? They wouldn't even acknowledge you as a chess player. They wouldn't look, no. But then finally, what's the, the chess point, look where they know? Yeah, how do they know just my look? This is wise and old, bitter. They're really bitter, negative people. Yeah. But this dude from Czechoslovakia agreed to play with me because he was bored and we're playing a game and we're playing speed chess with a clock yep. so it's like move slam move slam move slam and we're going back and forth and all of a sudden he goes and then he doesn't and i do make a move and then he doesn't move and he's taking a long time and i think i got i did something wow you're like yeah Damn. i was sitting there it's taking a really long time and i'm like i got this dude stumped he doesn't know oh, what to shit. do and more and more time goes by and then finally he goes move it's your move god damn it <laughs> and i just fucked up it was my move <laughs> <laughs> and i'm sitting there thinking that like it's your move god damn it he hated like, me you and then you... i moved and he finished me off in three moves <laughs> you were probably flustered you by thought you anyway. unlocked the key to the this whole formula and exactly. it just really stumped this guy. That could be the most exciting chess story I ever heard. Yeah. And I'm being absolutely serious. <laughs> hey, why don't we take your like chess? Like I was interested in that. Yeah. We'll take your chess stories. Oh, oh yes. yeah. Who's got a chess, chess story chess Wednesday? Story. If you read about Fisher Spassky in 1972, because the Russians uh -huh. own chess. Yeah. Owned it, world championship. Fucking Bobby Fischer, how he he fucking I think forfeited the first game in the, yeah. the championship match against the world champion. And and that gave us uh, Moscow, and we were able to then own uh, the Soviet Union after that. Yeah, they own. Oh, that's right. It didn't make a shit bit of difference. It wasn't important <laughs> own, during the Cold War. They own chess, War. but they don't Who own. Cared. But they, they own chess, but they don't own uh, blue jeans. But it was, yeah. I'd rather own. The was blue that jeans. the day before or after we were going to the moon again? <laughs> I'm trying to remember that, was, that when people were like playing chess. Were we go, did we go to the moon the, before or, or just after that for the Wait, third or fourth time? The Russians are going time. to the moon, right? I heard the yeah, a little going. behind. Yeah, they're they're gonna, they're gonna give that a whirl. Good luck to you. I, I think <laughs> that poor bastard is just going to be this skeleton, either sitting on the moon or orbiting around a happy Russian cosmonaut, just sitting there, a skeleton well, in that a was capsule. The great thing, if you ever really hear about their space program, the difference, we got there because we were so determined and united and stuff. Yeah. They got there because they have no regard for human uh, yeah. life. Just, it was like, like, oh. Hundreds and hundreds of dudes died. Yeah. They're still floating around in capsules. Hell yeah. Really? And, yeah. And we had, we had, our space program was pretty much like, we're not putting a human being on top of this fucking missile, this yeah. explosive. Yeah. It's just, it's not going to happen until we know there's a good chance that he's going to get into orbit. Mm -hmm. Oh, Russians, the Reds, uh, put a man in orbit first. Because they didn't give a shit <laughs> if Stanislav fucking yeah. burnt up. They had an explosion in their space program that fucking wiped out so many people. Mm -hmm. And and the bunker system that was supposed to protect them, yep. they were wiped out. Yep. That's how big this explosion was. They didn't give a shit. No, they, they have keep guys going. There no. around, Lou? Yeah, I want to get I'm, back into that. I'm kind of making it's that like up. Pla <laughs> you know what it is, though? Things are so classic. Could be. Their space program's so classified. They have had some, you know, deaths in their in their space program. A bunch. So have we. But I mean, I would not doubt for a second there isn't some fucking something that ends with S K I on the uniform wrapped around a skeleton. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure there is. There's got to be hands on the controls, just well, cause zipping when we, around. When one of our pilots, that one of our astronauts die, they're heroes, and it's a whole. They stop the space program for a few years. Yeah, yeah, years. And there's a whole a funeral at the, and in Arlington Cemetery. One of their guys died. They just announced on the he uh, comrade Dostoevsky fell on a pillow and he's fine. Yes, it was glorious. Return to yeah. Mother of Russia, where he has now uh, been given the large piece of land to work the farm as his own. Yeah. Meanwhile, he's the fucking dead. They killed his family so they don't spill the beans. <laughs> then they turn, to, they turn to the next cosmonaut and go, "It's your turn, goddamn! It. Yeah. It's your turn, yeah. you get in, you get, faggot! Get there! What are you waiting for?" <laughs> hey, we got to go to Drudge. By the way, uh, speaking of Russia, I don't think they have a government anymore. <laughs> what happened? Well, I think they dissolved their government overnight. Well, the prime minister fucking... Uh, What's resigned. going on? 
Well, Prime Minister resigned, and, it, and it's actually over uh, chess. There was a... <laughs> <laughs> you, for a second, I looked at Jimmy's eyes like, oh, my God, if this is true, I am so fucked. Oh, no, awesome. The Prime Minister did true. resign. I don't know why. How about Putin? Put, Putin. Whatever. Putin. Putin. Putin dissolves the uh, Russian government. Yeah, no, this is Putin. He it's did. Not, it's not them having no government. It's him taking... He's taking over everything. You know something? Putin is going back to the Soviet Union. To the thing. Soviet Union. Yeah, he he started uh, yeah. getting the... Uh, the he's, he got the bomb up again. They got new, a new missile system yep. that he's developing. They got new nukes. He's got those those bomber planes. He's got the bombers that are now being tailed up. by uh, England's uh, planes. And if they right. start cruising around Alaska again, we're going to have to send right. our guys we're, up. We're again. going to have to repoint. You know, our missiles are pointed away from. Oh, I know. Now Wait, to bring back Russia, Russia as we know it. I hope so. Uh, so that's look, what he said. So th they look at this like we look at radio stations, like they knew that uh, Free FM was a bad idea, and they're yeah, back so, to rock. Yeah. They're consolidating. <laughs> they're going back to rock. Is that what's going on? <laughs> this is like radio <laughs> stations. They doing. decided, ah, that yeah. format sucked. Let's go back to what we know. We uh, go yeah. back rock. to rock. Radio Rocky. chick was nobody cares. <laughs> <laughs> that's bullshit. <laughs> no one wants to listen to the talk radio. Oh, Nick Tapato, good, you know, but they can't just build we up. We like, but they uh, had to kill. Kill him. <laughs> Can only be one show in charge. Welcome back, Soviet Union. Welcome back. Welcome back. The rest of the world has been a bunch of cocksuckers ever since they dissolved. Treated the United States like shit. Yeah. Because hey, we were the ones that got rid of the other bad boy on the block. Now we have need, fun. We need the Soviet Union right yeah. now. We absolutely do. Because we do. they need to fight the Arabs for us. Yes. They're the ones who killed Hitler. We did not beat Hitler. I mean, Let me the tell whole you something. world couldn't beat Hitler, and Russia did it because same reason they won the space program. So they because not, they were willing to walk. They lost millions. way more dudes than anybody else. Just because they did they that like doesn't mean people. that they're uh, you know that they're uh, all bad. <laughs> no, that's what I'm saying is that now they're going to use their crazy life doesn't matter mentality to kill the Muslims you while know. we sit back and uh, get the praise. Yeah, I, th I think we got to play. I was beaten anyway. Yeah, just let him friggin' you know. Yeah, hang out in his bunker. I think we got to play a sting. Put him on today. display. That's what they wanted to do, but Hitler said no. I'm poisoning myself and then burn me. Would... I shan't be in some Russian museum. No, no, that but... sucks. It would have been awesome. Oh, imagine European seeing the Hitler body. stuffed Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> I saw Lenin. I've been to Moscow. I saw Lenin. You saw the stuffed Lenin? Yeah. How's, how does he look? Freakiest thing you ever saw. How does he look? He is like a pancake. <laughs> <laughs> he is, he's all spread out. Is he? Is his he body, flattening out? His body is flattening out. Oh, it's oh fucked up. God. The only things they're working on is the head and hands. That's all they want to preserve. The hands are kind of st stuck out like Mickey Mouse's hands, <laughs> and they're gray. <laughs> and his head is, he's laying back on this red pillow. Yeah. And he has this, ang that sleeping really hard sleep, like he's having a bad dream forever. <laughs> <laughs> like his eyebrows are furrowed. <laughs> and he just looks upset. Yeah. And you go in there, it's really fucking weird because you go in and it's all red lighting. The whole sure. tomb. And you go down and there's soldiers every couple of feet who tell you to keep your hands out of your pockets. And to be <clears throat> respectful and you can't take a picture. And oh, you, you can't keep, take a picture. Yeah, you, know, you got to keep moving. Too. <laughs> like smile. Yeah. <laughs> put, your, put your arm around the glass <laughs> yeah, thing. You, and... Yeah, you can't. <laughs> Why no pocket? And he's because it's disrespectful to like have your hands. You have to w walk very formally, and uh, so you and can't put your dick on his lip. And you can't, can't put your dick <laughs> in his lip. No, take can't. pictures of it. He can't. Why go? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Why go? <laughs> and he's in this glass case with these red <laughs> jewels on. It's really strange. And then you go and you realize there's a huge line all day, every day. And wow. they're all just there to see a dead guy. That's what you realize. When it's you get not there. like, this wow, is this is Lenin, this no, is history, was, this is oh, communist. It's just, I want to see a dead guy and what he looks like after so long. Yeah. <laughs> and they still preserve, like, the whole red commie thing, even though they were sure. pretty much not for that anymore. Well, good thing. No. Now yeah. that they're coming back. Well, they're coming yeah, exactly. back with a vengeance. They have to change the lighting scheme Yeah, anywhere. that's yeah. it. Yeah. Coming back. Yeah, you don't, you don't even have to change the logo. <laughs> no. <Nope>. Logo's <laughs> still there. Good. Awful, awful me from Whack Bag. Sweet Russian wrestling vill villains again. Oh, yep. Yeah. Bring awesome. back the Russian wrestling I villains. Hope. Yeah, so Rock, the, Rocky can fight another Russian now. There you go. <laughs> so the rest of the this goddamn world can look and say, oh, my God. With all the United States, could please, could you protect yes. us against these? Remember when you used to put missiles in our countries and you'd, you'd station troops to keep uh, the Russians please. from coming? Could you please come back and do that again? <laughs> oh, what, the scumbags of the world, us, that does show our force everywhere? Ooh, go fuck you. Deal with it yourself now. 
Watch him just get fucking goose stepped over by those guys. Oh yeah. Is the Russian army you think gonna be bigger than the French army? <laughs> the Russians could fucking kill the French without with guns. like three soldiers. Yeah. <laughs> they could just roll up their sleeves. <laughs> that crying French guy when the Nazis are coming in. Oh, That's the definitive picture to me of France. Till today. I don't even mean historically. That that old French guy just going <laughs> <laughs> while the Nazis are just like goose stepping uh, their way into uh, Paris. <laughs> Pick up a gun, faggot. <laughs> Guy's crying with a baguette in his hand and his stupid beret. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, good. I welcome you, Soviet Union. Please come back. What do we get to bring back? Because Russia's coming back. Dolph runs. What else? We get to... Dolph. All right, that's good. Dolph gets a sure. career again. Those Chechnyans are going to have to keep their fucking ass in line yeah, now, they too. They shut the fuck up. I, I, no I... more busting into schools with explosives. I interrupted your rant before, but I'm thinking we should, you know, play a Sting song today. He was all about singing about the the ugly Russians. Two words. Huh. Yakov Smirnov. Ah, <laughs> there we go. He's got it back. What a, what a country. You know, in New Soviet Union, they rip your tongue out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what Sting. I song. opened for him once. Some of them. Did you? I opened for him. Hopefully, after. his head. <laughs> I opened for him in the nineties after it had come down and everything. Oh, what was his act? Just uh, my wife is crazy. She's nuts. Like it was all just wife and kids. Stuff. Wife and kids. Take my wife. Please, yes, please. I, did he have an audience? Does, Russia. It was like half. It was the DC Improv, and there was like nobody there oh. years ago. They uh, now we, you know, no more. <sighs> Good night. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, Russia. Uh, Russians. I don't know if this is the song. I remember it was ominous back in the day. Was it? Yeah, this might be it. With the yeah, see. Oh boy! So that's Not what ended the, that's what ended the Cold anyway. War, right? That song. Yeah, yeah. that's what did it. That yeah. song and chess, because yeah. everybody heard it and said, "Oh, oh boy, we got to protect the children." <laughs> yeah, and ideology <laughs> rhymes with the other uh, thing. Biology. <laughs> yeah, so. Was it biology? Yeah. Oh, I like that song. That's the same that? rhyme. Uh, that? your iPod, there, Jimmy. Oh, piece of shit song. Hello. <laughs> What did he do? Uh, Putin dissolved a Russian's government. Yep. Good boy. Uh, the uh, he wanted... dissolution is expected to result in a new prime minister who will be seen as Putin's choice to succeed him after he steps down. That's what folks just like what Hitler did. <laughs> it's the exact yeah, same yeah. thing. <laughs> so, <laughs> so he's like supposed to step down or, you know, his term is up or whatever the hell it is. So instead of just letting... This election process go. He dissolves the government and says, ah, "I'll put this guy in charge." He didn't, want to, he didn't want to deal with that. He, he didn't yeah. want to deal with that pesky election. Yeah, yeah. that dumb election. This is stuff. what what Hitler did. The, his the way he took power is fascinating because it was like a system just like ours. It was yeah. a parliamentary system, not like mm -hmm. ours. Like, and he just used politics to get himself made yeah. pure. Like he used, he got enough guys in his party, and they kept walking out on every vote so that <laughs> they had a non-functioning government, and they couldn't pass anything because you needed a certain, you know, it's like you need two thirds or something. Mm -hmm. So he just kept doing all these weird little games, and people had to do a little more and more, and he got more and more seats. And then weird little games too uh, amounted to a few brown shirts beating the shit out of everybody <laughs> yes. that was voting yes. against who he wanted. Yeah. <laughs> That would be great if they still did Putin that. is the Sith Lord. Holy shit! Earth. Just found that out. Ru oh, also, Russia tests super strength bomb is also on a drug <laughs> what, because what can you call a super strength? Bomb? Well, the, I know what it, we well, have. It's a like, big round black bomb well, with a witch. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they're calling that because it's the most These, powerful non nuke bomb. This bomb will completely make your face all black and your hair grow up. <laughs> Your head will I will hide funny. it in a box with a ribbon and a bow on it, and yes. then you open it up. Some will be put in cigars, <laughs> which will peel back like banana. And your eyes will go googly, <laughs> and your teeth will be all knocked out. We have to, uh, we'll still work on it, because all it takes is a few shakes of head, and you're back to normal. <laughs> uh, the father of all bombs is what they're calling it. Well, it can't be that if it's new. It'd nah, have to be I, an old bomb. <laughs> Russia has tested the world's most powerful vacuum bomb, which unleashes a destructive shockwave with the power of a nuclear blast. It's the father of all bombs. It's the latest in the new series of Russian weapons. Yep, they got all new weapons now. Hope yep. They uh, use it in, uh, in the Middle East somewhere. How nice would that be? Mm -hmm. Although they're friends with Iran. That's they usually problem. are. Well, yeah. 
And that's what they're waiting for. One of us to like uh, decide Iran's uh, doing too much with their with their nuclear program, bomb them, and then North they Korea, step in. Russia, and Iran. Yeah, it's like you know, it's a nightmare. Nice axis <laughs> it's of a evil. Nightmare. Yeah. Nice axis it's a, of evil. It's a good yeah. solid team. Yeah. yeah, just put the shades down and hope nothing happens outside your window. Yeah. It would be great if the access of evil had made a press conference like with the logo, like they said, oh, we're doing, we're taking up yeah. the name, and we are. The, the, there it the is. The axis of evil. <laughs> there the axis of evil. <laughs> you, see, you see their newest, whatever, Russia just signed. Basically, the axis of evil just signed Russia. <laughs> yeah. So Putin shows up with a jersey, taking, you know, kind of a shy oh, that's smile huge. with a jersey. With, with the axis of evil hat on. He's got the cap on. <laughs> Very happy to be uh, with right the axis of pick. evil. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He's a new draft pick. Yeah. yeah. King Kim on jail or whatever his name is, has his arm around him. Yeah. Always wanted this uh, again, uh, and, uh, you know, let's go, let's go. I just really hope I can contribute to this ball club <laughs> and uh, kill all Americans. And, uh... Jerseys and hats made <laughs> yeah. for, for the fans. <laughs> yeah. oh, God. <laughs> all right. Much stronger than our hard. bombs. Stop it. Well, good luck, bro, to Russia. Good. Now we get yeah. to build more big, better bombs. Big, better bombs. Hey, Lou's a, a big uh, tech guy, right? You don't, You had the iPhone. Yeah, I got an iPhone. All right, Jimmy. I, hates I, the, I, hates, I already. I don't pay my bills. They just turned it off. <laughs> Jimmy hates the iPhone. <laughs> Aunt loves the iPhone. Where are you? In the middle. Hate you hate it too. And Louis a Mac. He got me into Mac. Yeah, Louis's a Mac guy. Louis you know what? I I like the iPhone. I like it. You don't love it. I don't love it. You did. There the are many is, things. From having a BlackBerry and it doesn't do what a BlackBerry does. See, I didn't have a BlackBerry. I can't yeah. stand the phone. A BlackBerry. Right. This is the <laughs> easiest thing I've texted on, though. Which goes to tell you. <laughs> that will make me a BlackBerry. Laugh. BlackBerry. 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 I've. Uh, I, I. I. I don't. I like the texting on it. I really do. You like to type it on the fucking on the touch screen. Glass? It's better than You're fucking nuts. typing three. Like because I usually just get like a flip phone, and oh, then yeah. no. for A or B, like C, tap, tap, I got tap. one, two, three. Oh, I'll go back. Yeah, that's one, what two, BlackBerry's three, been there for like fucking ten years now. It's great. Yeah, but they're too big, and you. Yeah, I like and my, then, my, then, my wife has hey. a phone. There's no cover on the fucking thing. I'm spitting. My There's wife no has cover. a phone that's not a PDA. Yeah, it's just a just cell phone, phone, but it has the whole. Has a uh, keyboard. Keyboard. keyboard on. Yeah, and th those are the uh, ideal because they don't crash. They, yeah, you know, drop C. You know, you don't have too much information on it. Just, I think they the second or third generation iPhone, iPhone has might a huge amount of good, but limitations that are stupid. That yeah. shouldn't. They shouldn't yeah. have. Well, he could have had faster search web browsing. Your emails. I know. You can't search your emails. You can't cut like a paste and cut your emails. You can't no. copy a piece from one email and put it in. That another. is annoying. That's crazy. You yeah. can't you can't type like if you turn it sideways the keyboard will go sideways but only when you're web browsing. Yeah, you, you can't, can't do it in mail. You can't turn an email sideways, which is the only time you'd ever really want to. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, it it's really dumb. And then they made no, these new no picture iPods, texting. These new iPods that you can use the wireless to get uh, music off mm -hmm. of iTunes. There's no reason the iPhone can't do that. It's the ex exact same hardware. Same thing that they're using. They just took the phone feature That's out of it. That's all it is. IPod, iPod and an iPhone now is the exact same stuff with just different shit turned on or off. So why the fuck can't I like download shit onto my uh, because iPhone? The, cause, uh, because Steve Jobs is a cunt. I, yeah. Have I not been saying That's that? Why. Yes, you have. <laughs> I have been saying in those words that he is a cunt. He's a cunt. He has he made four things now that you have to yeah. buy all of them. There's a Nano, a classic iPod. IPod and iPod yeah. video and an iPhone and they all none of them all do it's one motherfucker. Thing. You have to buy all four of them to make and and, and he carry them around, made them all them. do the same thing. All in one thing they could have done Asshole. that. You know what? I got my uh, my bill from AT and T because of yeah. course that's the only company that you can use uh, with the iPhone. Yeah. I got my bill. Um, I I I, I happen to be in the Bahamas for a week. Mm -hmm. I know, I, I, I know what happened. I know what happened. Yes, of course you do. It was getting your junk emails. By the way, there's no email right. filter. No filter. So gets your junk emails, and you got what? A two, I got a two thousand dollar phone bill for one week in Montreal. Two thousand. Yeah. Okay. No, not even close. Good. 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 No, no. I mean, you got way over me. So how the fuck? Oh, yeah. Mine was five hundred and sixty dollars. Yeah, how the fuck do they get away with that? There's class actions, dude. They won't. I don't think. Well, I could have called and complained, but it's too late now. Because add to that that I'm a lazy, un uh, so it's just like disorganized idiot. So you just didn't. Pay this, the woman, bill and... this woman said, but they're counting on people to be lazy and not fight this shit. And yes, they go, are. And what they're mean? like, oh, fuck, I'll just uh, write the check. That's it. it. That's what I did. Yeah, I had to.
And I, you know, I, I said, no, I, no, I forced that. I didn't pay it, and they turned off the phone, and now yeah, they, that's I, they, they got a collection agent. That's so <laughs> wonderful. They are fucking for, cocks. For How something many people you had no idea about. Because of that? Yeah. For something you had no idea about. I, I no, really didn't have any idea about that roaming thing. I know I've had phones that roam. This is my first fucking cell phone. When I go uh, uh, overseas and I see uh, that it's roaming, it, I'll turn off roaming unless i got to make a call or check yep. my email, and then... There was no way to turn that on and off where you're no. you're not getting fucked from for, for they, data they transfer. That it's a complete version of OS 10 and whatever. It's not. It's, no. It's uh, it doesn't have a, you can't store any any stuff on it. You can't you nope. can't like get a file. You can't a million things that you can do with uh, BlackBerry you can't. Like you can use a, a Verizon cell phone to to get on the internet with your computer with mm -hmm. your with your Mac. It's the it's very hard to find a phone that'll do that. Finally, Mac makes a fucking phone. You can't use it as a modem. No, you can't do it. The heist, their, their internet speed stinks. They could have had yeah. a faster one. They, they went with the slower hey, one. That's yeah. awful. Let's, I agree. Let's uh, go to Jeff. And Louie got me into Mac, so he fucking. Yeah. I still the computer. So he fucked great. you. Is what their you're saying? Yeah, I love the computer. Yeah. yeah. Hey Jeff, what's up? Phones kind of pissing me off. Guys. Hey. Oh. Well, I and I don't like the non-video. Yeah, I, I get no video. Yeah. Oh, hold on, Jeff. Go ahead. Text. Go ahead, Jeff. No, you guys are talking about what a cunt Steve Jobs is. Of course he's a cunt. Bill Gates fucked him so hard back in the day. He will never let it happen again. Never. He's going to lock Make, everything sir. down. You're going to buy everything from him if you want it all to work together. Well, he should have been a little bit better with licensing his stuff, and he would have had it into more computers. That, that's yeah, he also he thing. could have he could have mm. let people make Mac clones, and he, everything would have been different. He's a, he's a dumbass. He is a dope. I met him once. I I I went. I was in a store buying the the new twelve inch when they first came out with that twelve inch uh, al uh, aluminum book, and I went I, I went to the first store that had it in the world. Yeah, I'm so obsessed. <laughs> yeah. And I found out they had one in Sacramento, and I drove out to Sacramento from L.A. to, to look at this thing. And uh, it was shitty. I didn't like it. Oh, wow. And he came to the store because he was there to oversee all the new displays. How disappointing stuff. after driving all the fucking places yeah. there. So I went up to him, and like he had a crowd of people around him, and he's, you know, he's like God to them. And I just walk up and I said, "Hey, this is a pretty disappointing product." <laughs> oh no, and you were that everybody guy. Everybody around him goes, "Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa hey, I'm like no, hey. don't talk to him that way." And I'm like, "I don't work for him. What is he going to fire me?" <laughs> and he goes, "What are you talking about?" And I said, "It's not. It's. It, I'm really disappointed." And he goes, "Ah, you don't know what you, you're talking about." I go, "Well, no, I'm, no, I, I kind of do." I drove here like a few hours to buy this, and I don't, I don't like it. <laughs> I mean, I'm just looking at it, and it does, it just Holy doesn't seem shit. that nice. <laughs> And he goes, well, uh, I could have, I could have charged you two hundred dollars more and made it better. And I was like, I would have paid it. <laughs> yeah, it's not so about money. It sucks. Yeah, it's just not that great. And he goes, ah, well, buy, buy the fifteen inch one. I'm like, I will because I need the thing. But it's just too. I'm just telling you, it's just too bad. You could have done a better <laughs> machine. And the people around him were just so fucking bummed. Oh. Well, he's probably one of those guys that that is too. You know, he's a brilliant guy. Obviously, but he probably doesn't listen to stuff like that. And uh, it's it's hurt him financially. It's stupid. Yeah, it's, the iPhone could have been amazing. Yeah, I, but, but he, I, I he wanted stuff off on purpose. And that exactly. I, I wanted everything yep. to be on there. I wanted it to have video. I wanted it to have uh, uh, the ability to text um, pictures. Like when I send a text me message, I want to attach a picture to it. Yeah, you, you know, can't do that. No, can't when get you want, pictures. When you try to find like if you're in an email and you start writing an email to somebody, you start writing their name and it finds the name. Yeah, like right. the way you should. But if you're fo calling somebody, it doesn't fucking do that. You have no. to scroll through those tiny the little letters, letters on the side. You got to scroll through. If you have 50 people with the first letter A, you got to scroll through all yep. that shit. Yeah. I mean, what the fuck? Yeah, you can't and you search. No, they number. can if do it. The YouTube. It's only like a certain percentage of the clips because a bunch of them it won't play. I won't play it. Yeah, I'll, and none of my YouTube clips they won't play on show up. They don't yeah. show up because they're they they're using a certain flash technology instead mm -hmm. of whatever else. They tried to sell it as if it was like, wow, look at this, you're getting a yeah. computer in your hand as far as the web browsing goes. Nope, and hey, it just ain't it. So, Ms. Uh, dog shit sniffer from Woodside, Steve Jobs, what a dumbass. He's only worth half a Bill Gates' fortune. We know fortune, that. Right? Oh, what? He's <laughs> rich. We know he's rich. Oh, and then Jason, he's got uh, he probably must... ten, twenty thousand dollars in the bank. Perhaps more than that. <laughs> and then you got Jason from Cal Class. <laughs> Have it on this one. I'm streaming XM. 
from my iPhone so I can listen to you in class. There isn't much this thing can't do. Yes, except There's fucking, a lot of things that can't do. I'll tell you do. what it can't do. Get online in under 45 minutes so I can fucking go to check my AOL mail or something else I want to no. check. Or well, look at you Craigslist. being on AOL is fucking sad. I'm a cunt, too. I'm it's not saying sad. I'm not. I'm not saying I'm not. <laughs> but how about uh, put a little bit more fucking hard drive space on it? He could have done that. He didn't want to. There's no hard drive in it. That's what, remember, well, before it came out, we were here saying that it's just, it's a really good iPod, even if you don't use it as a phone. Yeah. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's, got a oh, it's not. Space. Regular iPods have 80 gigabytes. Yeah. This has 8 gigabytes. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, like, I put my shows, I, I record every show I do, and I put them on my iPod to listen to. I can fit three hour long <laughs> shows, and it's fucking full. <laughs> It's a piece of shit. <laughs> fucking faggots. Well, I brought it. <laughs> if you have an iPhone, whoever's listening in class, you're a faggot in your class. Listen in your faggot iPhone. <laughs> fucking shove it up your ass and come out of your dick <laughs> into your own face. Well, I, I brought up faggot. the whole iPhone uh, thing to, to lead to a clip from 1967. Hmm. 1967? Wow. The They're talking about the future. The future? The future. What was going to happen in the future? 19. 1967 film called 1999 AD. Wow, that was the future. Which is now what? Eight years ago. Yep. Wow. Which predicts online shopping, banking, and email. No way. 1967, wow. talking about the future. Fingertip shopping will be one of the many homemakers' conveniences. This video console will be channeled into the store of her choice. There, a camera will scan a display of wares, which she will select by push button. She won't have to deal with console. Negroes. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, though. <laughs> That's I mean, what you said. <laughs> Another part of this console is a household monitor screen, which maintains a watch on critical areas in the house, swimming pool, or yard. I like that. <laughs> sort of everybody had a swimming What the wife pool. selects on her console will be paid for by the husband at his counterpart console. All bills and transactions will be carried out. Can't off trust her. No. That's She'll right. buy her feminine products, and we'll things to make black eyes go away. <laughs> <laughs> wow, man. <laughs> the husband will pay first. Well, okay. Yeah. Don't let her go crazy. Oh, See what happened? They even knew back then. Yeah. So he. Part of the this? integrated system was that 1967. There's a whole separate console for the husband. For the husband to watch so over like, the that's wife. That's like the pilot. Seat. Oh my god! And she's just in the co-pilot seat. Well, oh I want to hear the last god. part. You don't again. want her to, you know, have oh say over what god. she can buy. Hold on. Areas in the house, swimming pool, or yard. What the wife selects on her console will be paid for by the husband at his counterpart console. Oh my God. All bills and transactions will be carried out electronically. Wow. Ele electronically. Electronic. That's oh. funny. She could pick out her shit and then the husband goes, no, no, no. no. All right, I'll let you have this. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. Her, her, her console is like the little fake oh steering wheel God. that the kid pretends <laughs> to drive. Yeah. Not even exactly, hooked up. Exactly, with a little fake <laughs> rubber horn in the middle. <laughs> Give her a choice. You could either get breath mints or tampons. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. That's good. Isn't that amazing? There's a little more. 1967. 67. Though. 67. Future. 1967. Sounds like it's from the 50s. Yes. Well, this is like the 50s or the... This is the 40s. What, 40s, sure. <laughs> what the hell is this? <laughs> Apparently, music is not going to change at all. <laughs> yes, it'll <laughs> stay exactly the same. <laughs> Benny Goodman will still be a hit in the future. Benny Goodman with his hit, Umbrella, Ella, Ella, Ella. <laughs> this will be fantastic in the future. You can be at the office and look in on your wife at home and we'll have a boxing glove on an accordion. <laughs> and if you want to punch her in the face for not working, just press a button at work. There she goes. Down she goes. <laughs> See her stagger to her feet. Now she's learned a lesson. <laughs> uh, Rich from Manhattan, is this part of the carousel of time in Disney? Please update that effing ride. <laughs> yeah. What's the carousel Spit, no, of time? I don't remember. That, the carousel that, of that's time. at Disneyland. Spaceship Earth is the best. Oh, yeah, yeah. Communication. 
It started with papyrus. You know, and they show all this stuff, and they're like present day one. And now it is 20 years old. A yeah. typewriter. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> they show all this fiber optic stuff and these bloop, 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 spacey noises. Everything will be buttons of different colors <laughs> that flash and don't, e they're not even labeled. It's wonderful. It has flashing lights, fiber optic, and tapes that go back and forth and back and forth for no apparent reason. <laughs> Why is it still the 40s? <laughs> Could at least put on some Jimi Hendrix. It was oh, the 60s. This is the go to music, though. Yes, right you are for this voice. What and look around the neighborhood. You won't see any of them. <laughs> <laughs> They're staying in the past. <laughs> yes. We're going to leave them here. The future will be wonderful. Look around your neighborhood. Yes, your daughter Betsy can walk around in safety. <laughs> you had the iPhone. They had the rotary phone. <laughs> Isn't the future great? The future. Uh, we have more audio from 1967. A central bank computer will debit the family's account the amount of purchases and credit the department store. For they were talking about online fucking banking yeah, in 1967? Yeah, pretty much that it. Was. Wow. They just thought it was uh, video. That's all. They thought it was like video cameras pointing. At yeah, you'd product. have to actually look at something live. They thought it was all live video feed. surveillance being integrated. They couldn't yeah. figure out that, it, that you could do it a lot easier with just pictures. Just capture yeah. a digital picture. Or, uh, yeah, GIFs. They didn't know. Who's going to be working yeah, all is that? Who's going to be working GIF all these is a great cameras. peanut butter. Yeah. That's all I know. <laughs> Make a picture of it. You're talking silly. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. What happened? Mm. Mm. That's true. Come on, I wanted to hear the rest of, of that. Purchases and credit the department store, for example. Ah, for example. Forming the family's home computer at the same time. Father, at the touch of a button, receives an instantaneous printed copy of his budget, the amount of taxes he owes, the payments left on the car, and so forth. And, and what that pesky cunt spent on clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love the fact that just Dumbbell does some shopping while the man figures out <laughs> yeah. the <final>. guy's <laughs> got to figure everything out yeah. while oh, stupid's yeah. just pressing yeah. buttons because the pretty dresses were pretty colors. <laughs> exactly. My <laughs> wife has an old uh, magazine, a really old magazine, and it's there's an ad for some kind of silk sheets, like some designer sheets. Yeah. And the ad is a cartoon of a woman sitting in bed, a really fancily, and, and the point of the ad is how are you going to explain to your husband that you bought them? <laughs> That so he won't be mad. Try and they show a guy that. walking in the bedroom with a briefcase, and he looks really mad. He looks mad. pissed. And she has this sheepish smile, and they give her points, like bullet points. Here's How the about things a blow to, job? Here's the <laughs> things to say to him so he won't beat you, basically. <laughs> like, these are cheaper than other brands. These will last a long time. If you can get it out these of your mouth will, before you know. he cracks you. <laughs> yeah, and exactly. That's what it looks like. Darker-skinned men will slide <laughs> off it, yes. as opposed to being able to violate me. <laughs> and you know his breath just smells like fucking uh, whiskey and yes. martinis. Uh, right. A cigarette. He's <laughs> all drunk. Fifteen drinks on the fucking Metro Line train. <laughs> a little observation. Uh, we're trying to find that, and so far we got how to turn a person in bed. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Be doing that. All right. Agency for replacement. The music gets scary there. Yeah, the servo was like fucking my, up. My mother's a computer programmer, and she they installed a new machine called a Sun machine oh. like this really huge machine <laughs> that they had to put their software on so they put it in their office and plugged it in and then two days later there was a guy from ups saying he had a part for the machine and nobody ordered it oh shit and it turns out the machine ran a self-diagnosis <laughs> oh my god found a faulty part got into their system and ordered it through ups I summoned cyberdyne it summoned these to itself paid for it out of their accounts it's everything. becoming aware it's becoming aware fucking crazy. wow that's they fucked up. They unplugged it, and they're like, we're <laughs> <It's> not... <laughs> fucking machines ordering shit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Wow, that is too fucked up. Fucking whatever this is, like, a, everybody loves Raymond Box set. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it starts ordering shit, they're like, no, it was, I needed it. Pizzas, you know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Coming to the door.
<laughs> That's pretty cool. All right, listen, we got to take a man. break. We got Stephen Lynch in the studio. Go to his MySpace uh, MySpace page because he's got tour dates all over the country. Same with Louis C.K. Orlando this uh, Saturday Friday. Uh, hard Rock. Do you know what uh, I wanted to rock. say at the computer what? order, but I just didn't have the guts? What? Uh, a freshener for your your mother's chair because her gun stinks. <laughs> <laughs> but you didn't have the for guts. For my mother's chair? Jesus Christ, Jimmy. <laughs> but you didn't have the guts, though. It's the Lil. first thing it ordered. <laughs> all right. It's the first thing it ordered. Too bad, I can't take. I don't have a sense of smell, oh, but God. that woman's cunt is disgusting. <laughs> Too bad we, uh, that does not compute. <laughs> Too bad you weren't brave enough to say it, though. No, I would never disrespect this. <laughs> right. Yeah, no. Next day delivery. <laughs> <laughs> I can't take another day of this. <laughs> oh, <God> damn, Jim. <laughs> I, I just see him giggling over there, and I wonder what he's got in his head, and it's that. I couldn't fire it out fast <laughs> enough. <laughs> uh. What is our board op doing on Regis and Kelly, by the way? Isn't that the kid that came in earlier that runs the board for K-Rock? <laughs> yeah, they all look like that. Who is that? Who are those? The Young. guy in the middle. Who I don't it? know. They're rocking. Uh, We're going to hate... get some rock and roll on the show today. Oh, wait. Fallout something? Oh, is that uh, Fallout Boy? Didn't we turn, that, turn him down or not? faggots. Yeah, no. probably. I hate that kind of rock and roll with this. The little wearing hat. hat. He's wearing a quirky hat. Too cool oh, for the room. Oh, he's got sneakers and a hat. Well, that oh, guy dates yeah. Ashley Simpson. And then there's a the, a, the mus, a mus-haired uh, Southeast Asian-looking kid. Yeah. One of them dates Ashley Simpson. And then the other one looks like a young Anthony Cumia. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. <laughs> the, the Afro other one, guy? The other one does. The other one does. The guy in the middle. <laughs> yeah, there, there, I am. Am. there I am in the back. <laughs> it's a young Anthony Cumia. <laughs> I'm in the back just hanging out. <laughs> He looks like Dim from Clockwork Orange. I can't listen to that me kind of music because no it's all like 19-year-old kids. Like, what does a 19-year-old kid have to all right, well, what do you like? say to me? What, yeah. song, what, what new song do you like? I don't like any new song. Why? I, I never don't hear anything. Look at Regis rocking to it. I'm rocking. Oh, he was actually doing a little ba -ba -da -da -da, like a Fredo. Yeah. He was doing the Fredo. With, when he opened the door with Michael. The Fredo skip into Michael's <laughs> hotel suite is the fucking greatest walking moment ever filmed. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> it also should be noted that Billy Bob Thornton was on uh, Regis and Kelly today. Yeah. Promoting Mr. Woodcock. Roland, come on in here. I don't we didn't get him. Doing that show. We like the we like the Stifler guy, but uh, why not right. why not Billy Bob Thornton? Why can't we get a Billy Bob Thornton? Uh, Billy Bob passed on the show. Why would he pass on this Wait, show? Did Billy Bob passed, or did the publisher? The rep passed on. Not with, with the rep. Why are they making the decision? And, wait, Billy, the, the rep passed, and they took Scott and Todd. What? Uh, I don't think he did in studio. What? He still did the phone though. I I don't know. I did. So the rep passed. Well, we, we have somebody that says he did that. Sh oh yeah, we we should. Billy find Bob Thorne's a pretty fucked up dude. Why would he? You know. Pass I think he'd have show. a good time on here. We wouldn't yeah. be talking about stupid stuff. That's what I told the rep. I would just. Who else does the rep make him do sling blade imitations? Uh, <laughs> I don't believe so now. He did the boy. Mm. Does any of these reps have people that have multiple people that have canceled on us? I'm sure some of them do. There's only a few of them. Yeah, there's a few that they have. Who's so? Who, who's like? Ha, ha, so you don't have to give the rep's name, but who, who's some of the artists that have give the same the rep's rep? Name. The same rep um, that have canceled on us <sighs> or have fucking lied to us. Uh, uh, Tell uh, me, I'll, my job. Uh, fuck no, um, I'm not afraid of that. I, I, uh, no, his job. He's, no, but he's not. He's not. He's not lying. I, uh, You're allowed to say. Uh, it's not a secret. <laughs> I know, but it's just. I, uh, well, who, who's had met met? Uh, uh, I, by the way, I contacted Dane because uh, through Bob Kelly because his uh, his publicist passed on the show, and uh, just completely passed on the show. Really? Yeah, the publicist obviously what, to knows. Be on this show? Yeah, he's been on this show before. Yeah, he has. Just it, calls from time to time when he feels like it. What? Yeah. What? Fuck these publicists! I couldn't right agree in the more. Fuck hole. I was I taking a long time more. to contact anyone through Bob Kelly. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> that was, was that? You have to get through the event horizon. <laughs> um, wow. <laughs> Two satellites <laughs> can't speak around here. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to wait until dawn. I went around Bob's other side. It was Michael yeah. Collins. <laughs> <laughs> If you, you actually if experience you loss of him, signal. If you walk around Bob really fast, it slingshots you. You can go through <laughs> back in time like they did on Star Trek, that movie. You know, I shined a flashlight at Bob. The light did not come back to me. <laughs> That's right.
<laughs> no, I emailed Dane. He's contacting his yeah. rep to ask why. So who else is uh, who? Like, what, what? What? Like, let's say Dane DeVito is supposed to come in, never did. The X Men was supposed to come in, they never did. Uh, uh, fucking Terrence Howard is supposed to come in, he canceled. Uh, 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 Al Roker, we understood. Ben he's, Kingsley. Ben Kingsley canceled. So many of them canceled. Jessica Alba, her people hey. said no. Dane's people said no. So what, wait, but with Dane, why doesn't he just call the show? Oh, himself? he will. I'm sure he will. But he yeah. just I, he you found know, he out knows through us. A, yeah. He knows this is the place to promote. Yeah, I'm stuff. sure he will. No, I, I emailed Dane, and then he, I, he didn't. Who, he didn't know about it, so he's. Contacting his rap test. So, what guests do we have on the way that we have to say yes or no to? Um, I have the list at the office, though. So. Okay. Well, do it, you know any? Uh, off the top, it's like um, like some of the new new shows. I was going to ask you guys. I'm like what? To get what show? Like Chuck. It's like the big NBC show. Cool. Who's in Chuck? Uh, Zach Levy. And who's Zach Levy? Uh, he was in. He's been in sorry. small God. like parts, but this year. I don't. Uh, well, does he? Uh, he's an awkward kind of. Uh, hey. I, Look at me, I'm weird. Oh, that's interesting. I don't yeah. care. I uh, know no to Zach. Who else? Uh, there's a bionic woman. Oh, that Lindsay. looks awful. Bionic woman. <laughs> Lindsay Wagner? No, no. Lindsay Wagner. You're the new what? One. The new I one. want the old one. I know. I want to talk to her about the bed with the dial. <laughs> What's she's, the bed with the dial? That she's hawking oh, every two oh, seconds. Oh. Unbelievably I, sincerely, by the way. Oh, I'm a 32. Yeah. I thought you were talking about a Bionic Woman episode. The no. With the dial. That yeah. sounds like it could be fun. I don't think I've ever watched a Bionic Woman. No, and they still I, don't answer I'm... the question of if you have bionic legs and you're right, <laughs> you take one step, your whole body will crumble like yeah. jelly. Uh, or you can't pull like some. You can't pull a car back because where your arm It'll meets your your, your fucking, flesh, yeah, some they point. never explain that shit. No, at some point your flesh has to take the torque. Yeah. Oh, oh, by the way, Fallout Stupid. Boys are playing another song. And the bass player must be a little chilly because he put his hood up. Oh, my uh, God. That's not so, but, like, look oh, cool. Oh, they're doing that thing where they jump around they and they rock. pump the guitar. Look at it that. must be chilly because he's uh, got his hood on. You're fucking 18. you God, got I, nothing to say to me. I hate these <laughs> things. I couldn't possibly be interested All right, in what back you're to the bionic about. woman, so... What was her name in that? Jamie something Summers? Jamie Summers. Jamie Summers. Yeah, I had a crush on her, even though I was a I little... I did, too. I had a little... I was a little... Thing. Oh! I, I was a little she thing. was a motherly looking I liked her. matronly. I wanted her. When that to show never was sexy. Getting, when that show was on TV, I was just a little thing and never sexy. I had a crush on an older woman, Jamie Summers. I wanted her to rip my dick off and shove it up her ass. <laughs> 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 never. When I was a kid, I was just I've said this before. I've never I never looked at women on television and thought, Oh my god, she's hot. Jeannie. No. I liked not uh, Jeannie. No. I liked Elizabeth nope. Montgomery. She had cans. She was like motherly though. Yeah, I didn't like those I motherly. Wanted, I wanted to fuck my mother. So, thing. oh, okay. I well, like, that explains it. I like as long as you. I like. I like <laughs> Leslie Ann Warren. <laughs> Who is she again? Big, huge, natural boobies. I think. You like her. Wait, wait. I saw her in wait, a, on an airplane. Wait, I might have admitted a bad one. Wait, who is no, she? Looks like, uh, no, Leslie horrendous. Ann Warren. I saw in a plane. She's the one with the big, huge. Yeah, natural yeah. Pants. But she, she ain't no kid anymore. She tried out uh, to be Margot Kidder in Superman. Did she? Oh. Yeah. Who is Leslie Ann Warren? What show is she on? We're gonna uh, get her. She's in movies and she's shit. She's in everything. She's yeah. got these weird Pop eyes. Her picture up yeah, there. You'll shit. see her. Well, these are older pictures now. Now give me a boob shot of her. Hairline she has. What a I saw her in a plane uh, from L.A., and she got on the plane and cracked her fucking head on the overhead. <laughs> really? And the whole flight, she had ice on her head and this big red dot. <laughs> it's like, ah, Leslie M. Warren's fucked up. You didn't look at girls that like them on TV, though? No, not older women like that. Uh, girls my age, I looked at. I know which one. Don't you like. say it because it's not true, and Christy I'm not. Christy McNichol. I hated oh, Christy I McNichol. Her. No, I hated her. I and her. had a crush on Christy McNichol. No, I didn't. McNichols. Knew she was a dyke. Her I liked. Who? When she was in um, Mrs. Uh, Eddie Van Halen there. Oh, Valerie, uh, Valerie, Valerie Bertinelli I liked on One Day at a Time. Valerie. It was too cutesy. I liked No, her. that's what I liked. Yeah. That's I, what I liked. I loved Christy McNichol. Really? Yeah. Her mullet. Mm. Di bull dyke. Right now, why? Because you didn't know any better at the time. I like bull dyke. You didn't know she was a dyke. What's Here that? we go. What's Here's the big sexy, boobies. Where's that? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> There's Leslie Ann Warren. Okay. Leslie Ann Warren's tits. You can't really see it from there. Yeah. They're a little weird. I wanted to deep dick Isabel Sanford. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to fuck Wheezy, yeah. Yeah, right in her fucking... Wheezy. Yeah. Wheezy. Hey, didn't we talk about this? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah, that was Florida. All right, yeah, Steve. Florida. I know you were part of that bit. James! <laughs> James! Here she is with her big boobies. Big boobies. Booby oh. chew. Where you find that? Celebrity skin? That's a, that's a popular site, yeah. whatever it is. 
Jesus, she has shitty hair. Old cancer patient hair. <laughs> She's old <laughs> now, man. Doesn't matter. She's wispy. You no know, kid. There you go. Yeah, I just uh, I wasn't into like um, like everyone's. Oh, I dream a genie, genie on that mm. thing. No, at, at my age, why would I fucking look at that? Mm. It's like my mother's and our friends hanging out. Well, well people on that. TV were older than two. Well, people yeah. were grown ups on TV. Yeah, yeah, they were. Now it's all young people. But no, I liked um, I liked the little uh uh Barbara Billingsley, the girl from. Yeah, Barbara Billingsley, <laughs> the mother from Leave It to Beaver. <laughs> Girl from the Cosby Show? No, who is the one? Uh, sh shit, I'm trying to remember. Joyce she, DeWitt. Yeah. No, she was a girl, and she oh, was... Well, that's good. That was good. That's good. <laughs> that's good so far. That's good. No, she wasn't like a woman. She was a girl, and it wasn't Family Affair. The show wasn't Family Affair. Jody? Erin Moran. No, no, I hated Erin Moran. What? Oh, she just, I hate her. You're more yeah. a Jenny Piccolo type of no, guy. No, <laughs> I didn't like Jenny Piccolo like either. Jenny Piccolo Le leather Tuscadero? No, no leather. I probably, probably you probably would have like Pinky Tuscadero. Thrown leather leather around her. Uh, it's not Pinky. I want a Jenny Piccolo. Can't remember her name. Ass with her nose. She had a great fucking nose. <laughs> but how'd you know? She was like, uh, they didn't show her until very late in the. Series. I know when they show Richie. Collins. Oh, the girl from Nanny and the Professor. I liked oh her. My God. She you was mean the, the nanny. Or the no, girl? not the nanny. The little girl oh. in it. I was a little kid. Who See, when like I was a little kid, I liked little kids like that. My who, same, my, who my do you same like age. Now? Who do you like now on TV? Uh, I watched Nanny and the Professor reruns. <laughs> Dude, you liked Kim. Rich Richards? Yeah, I liked Kim Richards. Yuck. Look how cute she was. When I, when uh, I was a kid, I liked cute. Uh, there's her boobies. Look, what? From Don't double. you violate my thoughts of little Kim Richards. Let's see her face. Uh, oh, well, her. I nice like there. her a lot. Yeah, she had the big eyebrows. Yeah. I dug her. Well, nothing was wrong with her. She was nice. Yeah. 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 Ma, ma, yeah. Ma. yeah. Man. Whoa. I like that. Hey, what's that? Well, who do you like from any TV shows now that you want to... Now? Asshole in face. Mm, <laughs> let me think. Who's, who's like, hot now? Uh, there's, like, that... Um, oh, you know who I think uh, isn't too bad looking? Uh, that Michelle Trachtenberg. <laughs> I don't know who that is. Michelle what? Michelle Trachtenberg. <laughs> from what? <laughs> she was in Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And, uh... But she was also uh, Harriet the Spy on Nickelodeon, yeah. but way, you know, yeah. years ago. Right. Way before. Well, and, and then she was in that movie she where she, like, kind of took her top off. Wow. Almost. Oh, what is this? Eurotrip. She was in Eurotrip. Are you handing me an urgent communique? Oh, Hayden Panettiere. Get the fuck out of here, of course. Who the hottest that? the hottest thing on television right now. She's the cheerleader in Heroes. Oh, yeah, she's all right. She's good. All right? Yeah, she's good. That shit is, like... The shit. That shit is dope. And the um, new one from uh, the new uh, freshly nude uh, girl from that High School Musical show. Nah, she's all right. You what think that's all right? Uh, she's hotter like because bush. you see her naked. What's you don't like name? her bush. Veronica Mars, very young looking. No. Too high. I, like her. I like the other one though. She was from, in booty uh, tang, you know. You don't like her bush? Is that what she said? <laughs> they don't like her bush. I think it's not bad. It's it's natural, but it's, it's not like real thick. It's a bit wide though. They what think it's a little too wide. A little wide. It's good. A great bush to She's just some eighteen-year-old from that that show, a uh, uh, High School Musical, and they, well, she was from that. They gave her the boot. <laughs> they booted her in her bare ass. That's what I heard. I thought they fired her. All right, can we take a break now, Roland? Who else are we working on? Uh, I was gonna see if you wanted Susie Essman from Kirby Enthusiasm. No, I, no. I like Susie. Uh, but I like Susie too. Sarah Silverman's coming up. Pretty yeah, soon. We'll, we'll Sarah, yeah. of course. Yeah, we'll take Sarah. Sarah we have. But I want to know just real quick who's like who has or well, like, name me a couple of artists that have the same rep who have canceled the douche does. I mean, we that's not that hard to find out. I mean, yeah, you know. I'll look because it's like most like a company because they have so many different reps working for like a BWR or a PMK. So, so all right, so what is I'm saying? What are a couple of artists that are under the subhead of the same company? <laughs> this is Garrett. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Charlotte Ray. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she was hot. She was this is Garrett. <laughs> She's what you need to call a three holer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's funny. I, I just looked down and saw her name. Uh, who do you think? I think the same person who does, uh, I think it's Danny, does Billy Bob. Shirley person. Jones. So the no. same guy does Billy mm -hmm. Bob, passed on us. I like his daughter Danny. of the Partridge family, so though. She was pretty call. hot. Shirley Jones played a hooker on uh, Elmer Gantry. Um, really? With uh, Burt, Burt Lancaster, and she's really hot in that. Really? She plays a really gross, sleazy hooker. Wow, that's yeah. kind of cool. Yeah. 
<laughs> we got to take a break. The daughter on the Partridge family was like, All right. she was like 10 pounds, well, but uh, she was good. Then. Crooked teeth. Uh, yeah. Break. So. Yeah. Oh, a break. Right. I'm going to pee my pants. Oh. Don't do that. All right. I mean, you guys. Well, tease it. No, you guys continue. <laughs> Don't just do it. You you tease the it, the and then toilet. after the break. What? Let's share the toilet. The turlet? Yeah. Go share. We're going to go share the toilet. But not toilet. side by side. One sit down and spread your legs, and yeah. the other one piss between the legs. Yeah. <laughs> Try to see if you can hit my shit with your pisses before it hits the water. <laughs> Sounds like a it's whole like song. shooting. Oh, boy. I'm deeply disturbed. <laughs> <laughs> Susan Day has a freckle on her boob. Does she? Where'd that happen? Yeah. Right there. Point it out, Iraq. Point out the flaw. It's just a stain from when I shit on him. <laughs> might be, uh, yeah, might be a little dust. <laughs> She's never wiped it off, that dirty, disgusting whore. <laughs> you haven't washed your tits since I shit on him? That's gross. Is that from Looker? Yeah. Yeah, I saw that movie. It's the yeah. first time I saw her naked. I was like, holy shit, she's naked. She's Who's naked? naked. Get us out of here. For to listen to Opie and Anthony is more good than to work in the fruit roll-up factory, making the fruit roll-up. When I was in Russia, we work and make things that so much better than your American. Because I, I you know, what, what do you, uh, let me just, uh, well, you, you already know, but. You don't want to work. Work good for you. <laughs> right. Why you don't want to work? I was farting so bad, and it stunk so bad. <laughs> you fat American. <laughs> right. Russia is so much better than you, my friend. I think that would be something that maybe people should uh, need to know. Okay, back to work. It's the Opie and Anthony Show. Louis C.K. in studio. Stephen Lynch in studio. We got Stu from uh, Fort Lauderdale on the line. Uh, well, on instant feedback, I should say. He writes, just a quick note of thanks. I'm a loyal listener of ONA, and I heard an ad you ran on XM for Fling Today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Met a hot 23-year-old. I'm 49. Thanks. What's Fling Today? Is that the? I think Will was talking about Fling today. We, yeah, we could have like affairs and stuff through this website. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Is it flingtoday.com? What's the website? Well, I now I need think to know so. more. Stu, you got to give us more on this. Can't just send in. I a, vaguely a remember like that, that uh, Will was uh, talking about this new client, Fling Today, home of Fling and sex. Find Fling Today. That sounds like an email. Dailyfling.com, fling, maybe. That fling Today sent to you. Yeah, right? Hoping you would read it out. Oh, really? Fling today just went like, yeah, this. <laughs> hey, that. God, that was easy. <laughs> the CEO of Fling Today. <laughs> he just got an extra 30 seconds for nothing. <laughs> and I'm going to get a nice check in the mail because I'm playing along too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember Will talking about it, but uh, eh, whatever. It's really cool on the iPhone because <clears throat> I can hear when we're on speaker. Yeah. But then when I go to talk without the speaker, just hold it up. It uh, kind of goes mute. How come I can hear? Yeah, it's a good good feature in the iPhone. Make... Oh, yeah. Jesus. He is going to he is going to just throw that thing. I will actually break it. Yeah, I you will. will. break it. Yeah, I'm in for sure. 2 years on the fucking thing. I, I Yeah, really, now I you're right. Yeah. I totally regret it. The way I look it. at it is this. I have fucking <clears throat> told enough people exactly what this phone is. I've gotten my money back in a way. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to hurt Apple, but you know what? If if 500 less people in the entire two countries that are hearing this buy this Fucking piece of shit ripoff phone. <laughs> Stick to the Mac computers. I'm an Apple fanatic. I wanted this thing the instant I heard about it. Yeah. It's a piece of garbage. If you're the perfect consumer for the iPhone, you should not buy it. <laughs> hey, uh, <laughs> that's cool and all, but if, I, if I, your I, name is iPhone Haver. Yeah, <laughs> you should pass. Hey, flinktoday.com. Yeah. Looking for a gay fling? Click here for guys in your area. Mm. And then it has uh, set, set up your fling today profile right now. It's free. And then you got a lot of these. Hop these are the actual broads that you can stop. Yeah, sure. L look to your right, Jimmy. Are these broads you, you think you get through flingtoday.com? Oh, yeah. I bet you go on and they're lining right up. <laughs> <laughs> sure. You know a thing or two about a thing or two, right, Jimmy? Is sure do. Are, are, are those the models? Oh, yeah. A little the... bait and switch action going oh, on? No, no. Those are the regular girls. Those are the ones yeah. you get. Those yeah. Ones you get. Sure, they're waiting to have a fling. And today. 
Yeah. <laughs> you can actually fuck the picture on your screen, <laughs> yeah. and it, your dick will actually go in. Hold on. Go to That's more girls that want to fuck from New York. The future. Yeah. Go down. More girls that want to fuck from New York. Here we go. So yeah. Lisa Lusty One wants to fuck you today, right? She wants to have a fling? Yeah. Yeah. Because she's just hanging around. Yeah. That's really what that video should have, that thing from 67 should have been. The future, you can come on the screen of the television <laughs> yeah. that shows the big open pussy. The working husband is jerking off <laughs> to, to what wife. is called internet pornography. <laughs> <laughs> on his computer unit Fornicate. while the wife cooks on hers. Fornicate with a negress. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Jimmy? Jimmy's losing his mind over there. I, there's nothing I hate more than being fucking stolen from. What yeah. happened? Uh, who, I, let's who stole see. something? What happened? Hold on. He's trying to um, uh -oh. circumnavigate something on his iPhone. Oh. I see him pressing some Wait. buttons. There you go. He is. Hey, Jim, it's Lydia. Who's Lydia? Just took the speaker off. Where is the fucking vol? Where is it? Where is it? Lydia's my uh, literary agent. Wait, what happened? Do you have your volume off or something? No, I, we just heard it through speaker. Yeah, but is there you is know, there something? When it goes off speaker, and, and, and I guess Steve Jobs is just so brilliant and so hip, he forgot that when you use a phone... You put it to your ear, and you hold the other end to your mouth. Yeah. You talk and listen. Mm -hmm. but he has to be the... wearing a black mock turtle for it to work. Ah, like yes, wears. and do the little zip. Look, foot, foot. Everything opens. Foot, foot. I really want to break it. I, I want to break it. Is the case covering up maybe a sensor or you know something? What? You might let me take the case. That Give that a whirl. Off. Here's a... Uh, Let's see. Here's a. Maybe I just don't know how to hit a volume thing. Do Here we go. it. Do it. No, do no, it. No. There's no way I'll do it. Yeah, it's about, uh, 11. All right, take it off speaker, and then put the fucking ear part, not not the mouth part. But you'd hear it, dude. You'd hear it a little yeah. bit coming but out. Nothing. Yeah. So yeah. as soon as you take it off speaker, she goes away. That's Everything broken. Does. Of course it's broken. Of course it's broken. That's busted. Why wouldn't it be? Your do phone's busted. Do it. it. Do, do it. it. Do no, it. There's no way I'll break it. No, he as can't. As much break as I would love the satisfaction of baseball batting it would be yeah. wonderful, but I just can't now. But I'm just gonna go back to no, the so you, you, you get you your hundred dollars. Two years. You fucking robbed me for did two years. Did you get your hundred dollars? Oh, no, the New York store doesn't have it. Uh, when, when the guy was blowing me off, <laughs> yeah. I was trying to buy a fucking six thousand dollars worth of computer equipment. The guy was, yeah. who was kind of a cunt to me. Right. I. I. Uh, okay. I uh, oh boy. Whatever, man. I, I just fucking right. disgusted. I I love you. Got me so hooked on fucking Mac. Yep. Well, you didn't get your hundred. Did you get your hundred? I haven't gotten. No, you're lazy. You no, do, the same it. thing I, I did. I'll I was, dude. I was at the Apple Store. <laughs> I went down to buy a uh, that big thirty inch monitor. Mm -hmm. And I go down there, and um, I was there, and didn't get it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, you it was too have. much of a hassle. No, you could give me, like, if I got some in the mail that said, all you got to do is fill this out and take it to the post office, then I'll get $14 million, and I'd be like, ugh. <laughs> oh, the know. post office. Oh, I have a shit. stamp. I got, oh, fuck. Uh, wanna... It would be sitting there until work. it expired. Yeah. Right, right. Sitting Just... up on the counter. Let's go to Scott. Scott, what's up? <laughs> hey, guys. How's it going? Hey, hey Scott. Come on. Um, so, uh, I have a horror story with Verizon. I uh, bought a, like, $600 Verizon uh, phone, and I had insurance for it, and it died pretty much three months into owning it. And they replaced it, and they actually had died yesterday. And still paying for insurance, I called up and said, look, I want to replace it. They said, nope, sorry, I can't replace your phone. So I, I basically told Verizon to go fuck off. Yeah, and, but that, they don't uh, care. The iPhone. No, they don't care. And The uh, whole, you know, go fuck yourself phone. doesn't... No, they yeah, don't yeah, well, care. I'll take a baseball bat to it and put it up on YouTube. And <laughs> they don't feel it. They don't have any nerve endings in their phones. <laughs> well, dude, you're right. Verizon can be scumbags, too. I'm certainly not saying that they can't. But every phone company is shit. My problem is just this perception and the way that you get right, the black turtleneck and the way they zip through everything with their fingers and then mm. for me not to be able to hear on it. it and the speaker yeah. volume is atrocious. You know what the best thing is? We should just uh, just pop up the uh, video from when they introduced it Yeah. To, for Jimmy. And look at the picture and now look at what I'm doing with it. 
Yeah, and, and the whole audience is just freaking out. <laughs> so stupid. Dude, How about a phone call? <laughs> the real problem with it is not with not having tactile number buttons. Yeah. Is it means that you have to look at it like forty percent more than you would. You don't realize how much you don't look at your phone when you're using it. Yeah, because you feel the numbers under your thumb. You don't miss mm. by a number because you're That's pressing a piece true. of smooth glass. <laughs> piece ah, of yeah, shit. my friend Ken. Uh, is it really that bad? I wrote back, I fucking hate it. And he goes, I was going to buy one. Thanks. You're welcome, Ken. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> it's good. There you good. go. One happy customer. Uh, there it Don't is. Spread the it. word. It's a piece of shit. <laughs> well, let's go to Harry in Buffalo. Uh, Harry, what's up? Hey, I was going to order an iPhone this week. Why don't you just tell him about the discount, Harry? Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm worried enough about the discount. Well, anyways, go ahead. What, what I wanted to order was, I wanted to order a traveling virus to Buffalo because you shit dicks ain't coming. Ah, uh, see, they're all mad at us in Buffalo because us shit dicks ain't coming up there for the uh, traveling virus. That wasn't our fault, sir. Yeah, exactly. Well, he hung up on us, so apparently uh, uh, he wins. We are shit dicks. Hold on, let's go to the old K Rock phones. Oh. Hello? Yeah. Hi, K Rock? Yeah. Hey, uh, what, uh, 92? Yes, sir. Awesome, man. You got it, baby. So, uh, what is that, Foo Fighter ticket? Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That's but, great. But, uh, Lou? You guys, are, you got him? What's that? You got him? I, I, I guess so. How, uh, that's awesome. What, what day is that for? Um, I believe it is the uh, 26th. 26th, fantastic. So I have to give you my uh, my name and address and all that stuff? <laughs> hello? 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 Yeah, hello? What's up? Am I, am I calling on you too? <sighs> Holy shit. Am I? Yeah, you're calling 92. I'm calling 82? Yeah, you won, You just won tickets to Foo Fighters at every club. I did? Wow. Oh, my God. That's great. I'm dying to see them. I love that new song. Hello. 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 Am I calling 92? Am I? Hello. Hello. Oh, crap. <laughs> <clears throat> Hello. 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 Hi. Hello. My caller ninety two. Ninety two. Hello. Hello. Ninety two. Ninety two. Ninety two. Ninety three. Ninety two. Ninety two. Hello. Ninety two. Mm. Hi. Hello. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Did I win? Did I win? Did I win? Did I win Foo Fighters tickets? Hello? 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 Yes? Hello? Yes. Did I did I win Foo Fighters tickets? Did I win Foo Fighters tickets? Foo Fighters. Foo Fighters. Yes. Who's the winner? Sandy. Hello. 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 Yeah. We have a win. Hello? Do, do we have Hi. a winner? Uh, uh, Sandy. Uh, hello. Sandy. Hi. Uh, what? Hello. Sandy. Uh, yeah, this is Sandy. George. George. What? George. We have a winner. We do. Oh, me. Sandy. George. Yes, I'm... George. Wait. Um. Sandy. Ah, uh, George. I'm Sandy. George. Wait. George. 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 Yeah, George. Ninety-two. 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 Please, Foo Fighters. Please. Hello. Tickets. Hello. Sandy. Irving Plaza. Ah, uh, George. George. I'm Sandy. Sandy. George. Hello. Winners. Hey. Tickets. Hello. Irving Plaza. Ninety-two. Foo Fighters. Now, Sandy? Sandy. George. George. 
Who Fighters? Who Fighters? Irving? Irving Plaza? Fades. Agnieszka. <laughs> What's going on? Right. Suck blank for K Rock? Suck. What's going on? Sandy? Sandy. George. George. AIDS. <laughs> George, 92. Hello? George. Lopez. George, 92. George, 92. Sandy, 92. 92, K Rock. Uh, oh, 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 Sandy. Wow. Oh, Sandy. Sandy. Oh, wow. Sandy. Oh, Sandy. 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 Oh. Sorry. George. Oh, George. Sandy. George. 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 Yeah, George. Sandy. Oh, Sandy. Oh, Sandy. George of the Jungle. What just happened? 93. Oh. Oh, George. Oh, boy. Hello? George. Yeah. You didn't get the Hello. tickets. Sandy. 91. Yeah. Sandy. Yes, I'm here. Hello. Oh, oh Sandy. Sandy. <laughs> What's going on? Please. Foo Fighters? Irving Plaza? Sandy, yes. suck cock for K Rock. Not George. Please. Not going. George. Ninety-two. So do you... Hello. Hello. I'm here. All I hear is a bunch of voices. Sandy. 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 Yeah. Sandy. Yeah. Ir Irving Plaza. George. Yeah. Foo George. Fighters. George. Who's George? Who is George? I'm George. I don't... George. Yeah. 91. Sandy? Yeah. 93. Oh. Oh, no. Ooh. 92. 92. 92. 92, Sandy. <laughs> so, the, uh, so I did win. Oh, Sandy. no. Wow. Oh. Oh, but. Sandy. George. Yeah. George. Irving Plaza? Yes. Foo Fighters. Yes. George, 92. Uh, I'm 92. George, 92. George, 92. 92. Awesome. Oh. Sandy, 92. Cup of? Dirt. Urine. Damn. Hickory dickory. Cock. Cock? George. Yeah. George? Yeah. Question. Sure. Jack be nimble. Jack be quick. No, no, sorry. Oh, no. No. Jack Sandy? <clears throat> Sandy? Yes. Hey, diddle diddle. All right, you could have just said I didn't win rather than keep me on the phone. Uh, oh. oh. Sandy? Well. I've got all day. But, oh, Foo Fighters. Foo Fighters, Sandy. Foo Fighters. <laughs> Name a Foo Fighters song. Fucking Dave Grohl, man. Oh, I wanna... oh. song, Sandy. A song. song, a Foo Fighters song. Oh, a song. Yeah. Uh, I guess Everlong. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Uh, sorry. Come on. Wrong song. Sorry. Sandy. Yeah. Ninety two. Ninety two. <laughs> George. Yeah. Ninety four. Ninety four. Minus two equals? 92. Oh, 92, Sandy. 92. 92. Three. K-Rock. George? Yeah. Sandy? What? Sandy. Why the long face? <laughs> Hello? Sandy. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out why you people are taking pride in this. Sandy, annoyed? Pissed? I'm trying to figure out whether this is just a big funny game. Aggravated. Foo Fighters. 
Not happy. 92. 3. K-Rock. Waste of time. Sandy. Sandy, listen. <laughs> George? George? I'm here. Sandy hung up. Did she? Yes. Mm. Hey. But thanks for calling. You were the uh, 93rd. 48th. All right, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, was she pissed? She was just yeah, Sandy. Why do you, why, why do people yes, take yes, pride in this? Why? Why? Why do you why, people take, take pride, pride in, in this? this? Now, for the people <laughs> in America, we have two sets of phone lines here. This is the K Rock line. Right. After we go off the air, they play music and they give away their concert tickets and stuff. Now, our stupid pests now know what we're doing. So watch what happens now. Yeah, this will all be pests. Hello. Yeah, hello. 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 How many people? Hello. Hello. What? <laughs> I would like some fighters tickets, please. Is the oh, caller okay. there? Uh, is the caller what? there? What's up? I'm here. I don't hear. Do you hear? No. Mm -hmm. No. You don't hear me? Foo, fi Foo fighters. Foo fighters tickets. Foo fighters. Yes. This is Animal. Who we got on the line? You got Andre. Who? Andre, not loud enough. Andre! I, not loud enough. How about this? Andre! No. No, not loud enough. <laughs> Louder. Who do I gotta do for tickets, man? You gotta suck cock for K-Rock. Suck cock for K-Rock? Hello? Who's on the phone? Andre. Yeah, I heard a female. Lauren. 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 Is that cock for K Rack? No, 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 no. My girlfriend will, though. Come on, Foo Fighters. <sighs> Lauren, do you hey, suck? Hey, hey, no, no, no. Lauren wants to go see the Foo Fighters. Who does? <laughs> Lauren. Me, <laughs> from Staten Island. We're well, going to have you two Foo fight it out. Uh oh. Fight it out? Yeah, we're fight doing our food fight. Yeah. Fighter contest. <laughs> so Andre, punch her in the twat. Whoever can get the other one to... I'll uppercut her taint for those tickets. Oh, sorry. Lauren, what will you do for the tickets? He'll uppercut your taint. Excuse me? Yeah, he's he just uppercut your taint. That kind of hurts. Now you got to come back here. You're foo fighting. So what do you come back with? Yeah. I'll foo finger her, too. Oh, no, he just foo fingered you. What are you going to do? He punched in the in the taint and he foo fingered you. So Lauren. far, he's winning. Lauren, how, what are you doing? Well, you got to get him back. You're foo fighting. Right. What do you got? I don't know. I'm not really very violent, but I kick, kick him in the balls if you want. A kick in the balls. kick him in the balls. That's not too creative, but yeah, it's but, effective. But we got a foo fight. We got, we got a foo fight. fight. Foo fight going on right, right now. Foo fight on K Rock. I got three balls so she could choose. You got uh, how uh, many? Wow. All right, Lauren, what else are you doing? He's coming up to you. He might give you another uh, shot. What are you going to do? Um, all right, so so far I'm kicking her. Up. me and I'll go with her. Make, make, it, make it hurt. Make it hurt. All right, well, let's see if I'm kicking him in the balls. He's going to be down. I guess I can, I don't know. Maybe I kick him in the head at that point. Oh. He's going to be over, right? Damn. Yeah, damn. I don't know about that. I think that was kind of corny. Damn. You just been pwned. <laughs> <laughs> You've been pwned. You've been pwned. I'll fuck you if, I'll break, if I win this. Foo I'll fuck you. Oh boy, you now can't say it on the, uh, uh, you can't say foo fuck Come you on, on the air. You That's all right. Fucking we'll... cunt face. <laughs> you can't say foo fuck on the air. Yeah, it's FCC rules. Fucking FCC, you, say, you shit fuck. cunt. <laughs> what, 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 what? Are we done with the foo fight? I don't yeah. know. Well, Lauren, it's know. it's to you. Yeah. He's gonna. Lauren, you got to get graphic. Graphic, but I thought I thought you can't get graphic. On right, nah, don't worry about gave it. Up. I think I want we'll, we'll, Don't worry about it, Andre. You just sit down and shut up. Yeah, we'll <laughs> let let her, Lauren uh, kick your ass a little bit. All right, Lauren, what are you gonna do? Reach in with two fingers and do something. Wow. Go ahead. I can't get graphic on King Rock. I don't know what the hell to do. Oh, my <laughs> God. Oh, my Jesus. God. You're uh, going to lose. How about we go with our uh, our uh, make them growl to see growl contest? Ooh, growl to 
fatigue roll. <laughs> oh, since the foo fighting didn't work out? No, I thought you were talking to Philly. Ah! Hold on, I'm, I'm, I'm at work. I have to go outside if we're fighting. I can't. No, no, we want you to growl for growl. Growl? I like to make werewolf movies. <laughs> <laughs> All right, wait. I, oh, I oh. heard a growl for growl. I think Andre growl oh, for that growl. Was fine. It was a little corny, but no, no, I think that was Lauren. Yeah, we need a uh, we need a better growl for growl. A growl for growl. Yeah, keep saying. Do you really want it. a growl like a really really loud growl? Yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, growl for growl. Yeah, I'll do I tell you radio. what? I'd be screaming my head off Jeez, if I was at the stuff. concert. Uh, listen. It's either that or we're going to foo fuck you. <laughs> fuck all. You might not be screaming your head off. If you want, to, could, could you sneeze your cunt off? <laughs> How about you? Right. What? Yo, is, there, is there any chance that, I, that I'm getting tickets? Are you going to growl for growl or what? Growl for growl. Am I getting abused or anything? When are you going to realize you didn't win the stupid tickets, you bitch? <laughs> <laughs> How much more obvious can we make it? Ticket slut. Make her moan. Maybe she'll do that. Prize whore. <laughs> Tell her to moan for growl. She'll probably do that shit. Why don't you moan for a dick in your ass, you fat? <laughs> yeah, you, you were calling up, too. <laughs> yeah, you were calling, too. What do you think? You're in the same boat you she's in. You're better. Yeah. The SS loser. <laughs> what do you think? We like cock? Of course we would have gave it to her. <laughs> yeah. In this case. Exactly. We had anything to give away. You turn your dick inside out and fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to see Dave Grohl? Turn yeah. on fucking MTV and hope for the best. Yeah. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, that's yeah. how we feel. It doesn't suck about you. It doesn't suck to us. I'm going to the show, front row, my friend. That's what us radio people do. Just, just if, if if you end up there, just ask for animal. This is what we do to everybody who doesn't the front get row. everybody who doesn't get tickets gets this. You <laughs> fuck faces. Wow, that's great. Yeah, I know. Yeah, front row. Like we give a shit about our listeners. Now go away and get back to work. Tell them animal sent you. We got a cushy job to get back to. Goodbye. Oh, listen, a kisser, cunts. Why nobody listens to you? What? Exactly. Uh, poor guys are picked in high school. They need some rent out. Give me some goddamn tickets. Not only do you like to be fucking <laughs> your ass, the tickets? but you push back and dare them to do it harder. You're a queer and you're getting nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so long, faggot. I'll give you a ticket to a load. What are you thinking, them apples? I'll give you a bleedy dick in your anus. That's right. You get three kinds of AIDS at the same time. That's right. You useless fucking homosexual. Jesus, you He's non gone? you non contributing gay man. <laughs> That's right, Lou's giving you the business. <laughs> if there was a Lou here, this is not a Sir? Lou. This is animal. <laughs> <laughs> Sir? <laughs> Sir, 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 Miss. No, she hung up. Sir, are not done? No, Can no, we're not done. Did you go yeah. now? Why don't you hang up? Our phone's broke. We don't have a hang up button. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. We need that. That's why we've been so mean. We want people to hang up. Yeah. Can you go now, nah, please? I'm not hanging up. I want those goddamn tickets. There's something wrong with our phone. You called the cum sniffer hotline. <laughs> we have no hang you up power. Hotline, the only way you're getting a ticket is if you park your car up your mother's cunt, which is a <laughs> fucking towway zone because it's so disgusting in there. <laughs> You'll get a ticket for not filling the area enough. <laughs> when did you realize that you, you called the party this line, is too sir? Big just for one car. You reached the gay man's hotline hi if you're into hot gay ass sex stay on the line hello andre <laughs> please push any key push any key for if you are a cocksucker yeah push those keys you dick sucker <laughs> push one if you like balls in your mouth Push two if you like your asshole to be pulled out like a bloody tube sock. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't gonna stop. Let him push. <laughs> Let him push. I love it. Zero. <laughs> oh, hello? Hello. hello. <laughs> Chat line, hello. But there are also many, many other people who just. 
love my dick. <laughs> oh. Oh. Just play a little oh, tune. Right. Musical faggot. <laughs> Damn. You just been pwned. <laughs> Damn, you've been foo fisted. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn, you just been pwned. <laughs> I'd like to make werewolf movies. <laughs> We really are phoning it in. <laughs> yes. God damn. Oh, this is unlistenable. Oh, this is awful. <laughs> this is just the worst. What are we doing? This is for our own entertainment. <laughs> we are shitting on Steve Jobs for making a bad iPhone. No, we're just uh, sitting we, here we're, bashing we're gonna... for our own entertainment. <laughs> it's the entertainment of one, two, three, six people or so. That's about it. That's it. Hey, uh, buddy. Yeah. You hung in there a long time. Yep. So guess what we're going to do? Uh, I give up. We're guess gonna... where you're going, sir. We're going to call you a faggot again. <laughs> <laughs> right back at you. <laughs> and give you a little of this. Damn. You just been pwned. Bozy, bozy, bop. Exactly. Uh, That's right. I'm a police officer. <laughs> hey, what happened? That doesn't match. Sir? Huh? You Sir. don't get tickets, but you can have the end of Eddie Van Halen's tongue in a glad baggie <laughs> if you want that. Listen, listen up. <laughs> These are all different. I know. I know. You, you know, Andre. We, we <laughs> understand. <laughs> You're frustrated. <laughs> <laughs> we, we understand. I know why that makes you feel better. I understand. I'd be doing the same thing in your position. Absolutely. Oh, you like that, don't you faggot. I'll frag it, though. I wish I knew how to quit you. Those men wanted to have <laughs> sex with me. If you yeah. uh, if you have a small dick, push a button. <laughs> oh, that's what the thing is. Yeah. yeah. Small dick, huh? Yes. Yeah. Well, if you let a gorilla fuck you in the ass, <laughs> it'll make you forget how small your dick is. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, You've been flying a long time. You guys do a lot of work. <laughs> we do. We are. This is our jobs. Yeah, we got to get back oh, to. Oh man, it's a great job. You get to poke fun of people you don't even fucking know. Poke fun. Poke fun. Eat How about, fun. Oh, How about whoa, whoa, annihilate man. verbally? All I've heard is faggot and fucking gay jokes. Your whole you life, you mean? <laughs> 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 you know, it's not easy being a board op here at K Rock. So. No. Please relax. Yeah. We want to have a little fun because we make like eight bucks an hour. I, I'm, rela I'm relaxed, buddy. I'm calling for tickets. Well, uh -huh. yeah, and we, we're the guys that, you know, work the board and stuff, but, you know, if you got If it bothers you, you should hang up and call the same number again and complain about everything we did. Yeah, we yeah. control the. Uh, because the our tickets. bosses at K Rock will probably fire us. Yeah, okay. I love you, Johnny Cakes. I love you, Johnny Cakes. Listen, listen, uh, why don't we just play a song for you and make, make nice here? Yeah, what do you want to hear? What do you want to hear? Uh, you got any Britney Spears? Ah, uh, see, that, <laughs> see, that was stupid. Yeah, don't go for the laugh, sir. We, I, don't, I don't want a fucking song. I want tickets, man. Yeah, what, but who do you want to see? We're an alternative rock station. Why don't how you about, buy them? How about this? Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Hicksville. All right, what's your name? My name's Andre. All right, oh, yeah. Let's so you go, hi, this is Andre from Hicksville. You can say who, hi to whoever you want and then request a song. A shout out. Shout out. Uh, this is Andre. No, no, hold on. We got to roll tape and stuff, and then we'll play it. What song you want to hear, though? I got to make sure it's in the library. Uh, uh, just put in some Enter the Sandman. Fuck it. I haven't heard some Metallica. All right. Enter the Sandman. All right. Fucking gay song. All right, ready? Yeah, well. Hold on. Hold on. All right, hold on. Uh, I just want to Hold shout on. Out when I say... Ho no, 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 no. I want to run uh, tape for you here. All right, ready? We're recording right... Now. How you doing? My name is Andre from Hicksville. I want to give a shout out to Amanda and her family. Passed away yesterday. And cut, um, cut, cut, cut. Your phone is crapping out. Are you on a cell phone? Yeah. Yeah, all right. Let's try that again. All right, let's try that again. All right. Quiet in the studio. Here we go. One, two, three. And we're recording. All right. Everyone at K Rock, stop my dick. Bye bye. <laughs> 
Sorry, I coughed. Did you cough? Damn it. All right, can we try that again? Hello? Sir. Sir. Yeah. Andre, Hicksville, yeah. shout out. Uh, say how great the radio station is, and then the song. We'll start playing over your phone call, okay? Here You're going to get your own, the song you want, and we're going to give you a pillbox hat made out of Amanda's clip. Nice. All right, here, yep. we, here we go. We're recording in three, two... Action. <laughs> <laughs> He's gone. Did he finally hang There he goes. He finally fucking had it. Jesus. What does he oh, do we, all day? We are the most persistent asshole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that the worst? Oh, but that was like 20 minutes. Oh, of just us being too bad. <laughs> bothering one man. For nothing. <laughs> bothering one. It was finally dead Amanda's pillbox hat. <laughs> yeah, yeah maybe that did it. Oh, all right. After that, we just got to do line of the day, I think. Yeah. yeah well, I got to go get my phone fixed because why should I be able to hear? Why? Why, why, why? You checked your settings? I reset them. I didn't you reset they... them? Well, then they should be fine. Yeah, they should. Let's try. Hey, we got some lines? Yes. All right, what do we got? Some lines? Yes, about uh, 1140. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nah. Why would it work? Ugh. Led Zeppelin set for a reunion gig in London. Here it is. What? Official announcement. Oof. Rock legends Led Zeppelin were set to announce a one-off comeback concert on Wednesday, nearly three decades after disbanding. Yuck. There late. it is. They can do late. one show in November in they London. Already, they did Live Aid or whatever, didn't they? Yeesh. With Jason Bonham. They already did this. And it sucked. It did suck. Huh? Want a whole lot of love. <laughs> Want a whole lot of love. <laughs> you need fooling. <laughs> Baby, I'm schooling. All right, we got uh, runner-up lines of the day. Oh, line of the day brought to you by BodogFantasy.net. If you're playing fantasy football this year, head over to BodogFantasy.net for everything you need to win the season. Here's a runner-up line of the day. What are you doing, E-Rock? Oh, it's not E-Rock. If it was playing, it. we'd hear it. It's obviously your fault. Turn All right. In. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, shoulder shot. Here's a runner-up line of the day. Go. <laughs> Is it still playing? We're all was it? Oh, E Rock. Are you all deaf and you have good ears? <laughs> Fundamental radio. He's playing uh, it through the iPhone. <laughs> that was it. Yeah. <laughs> Jim, it's Jimmy's iPhone. Ah. Uh, uh, problem, E Rock. What? Just say it, E Rock. What's wrong? Nothing. It's not being heard on the airwaves. They're implying yeah. that you made an error. Why are you calling me a dick? Oh shit! Snap! What? Called him a dick. Yeah, he boards <laughs> off. Oh, dick. The whole time. But you just blew the call him a not dick. That. Dude. Damn. You just been pwned. Oh, yeah. No shit. Oh, yeah? I like to make werewolf movies. Doesn't compare to this. Us. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing does. <laughs> Nothing does. Us. How did my fucking clip go down to second place all of a sudden? Dude. Damn! This was you just been pwned. You've been pwned. Just deal with it. But this was the one. I like to make werewolf movies. This is okay. the most popular until today. That's always funny. But <laughs> what's the top five? You think that one is up there? Too uh, bad he can't be wear normal. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> he's normal. Don't make when werewolf there's movies. There's a full moon. Blah. <laughs> Uh, this... I like tying my shoes without shitting my pants <laughs> just once in my life. Just once. Why does God hate me? Uh, this just in. Yes. John Bonham is coming back, but he'll be a little stiff and rusty. Oh, uh... <laughs> see. I get it. All right, here's a runner-up line of the day. You rock? When they're three, you're like, so what? She won't remember this. You know, they I'll do. punch her in the face. It doesn't matter. <laughs> we're going to wipe the hard drive in a minute. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Such a great analogy. Yep. <laughs> By the way, White in case you're wondering, Pat uh, Duffy never came back. So yeah, yeah what happened? We don't know what that's that. about. So don't know what happened. We'll find out hopefully tomorrow. He was abducted wearing a little backpack. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody, someone snatched him up. Uh, here's a, another runner-up line of the day. Not a guy. Well, if it's worse than cocaine, but yeah. it's not because it doesn't have a taste. So this. Yeah. What? Well, uh, yeah, I don't get it. Like hell no. Is this guy going to fill his pool up with tab? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> yes, of course. Got something in your shoe, Jimmy? My orthotics are broken in half. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> orthotics? You're too young. Look at your orthotics. orthotics. My orthotics are broken. Oy vey. Go on without me. <laughs> just the worst on this show. We're all broken in so uh, many ways. Everyone's busted. Yeah. I wish Boss was here so we could do that reference he does from the Christmas movie about the uh, the island for broken toys. <laughs> oh, he fucking, that reference, I want to fucking just, I want to lick his teeth. Oh, God. <laughs> fucking. Oh. Uh. Hell no to H2O, hell no to H2O. It is an epidemic. Hell no to H2O, hell no to H2O. Worse than Hell no to H2O, hell no to H2O. Hell no to H2O, gotta go when you serve that H2O. Bush. What is that? Hello. You missed a lot today. I did, yeah. We started a new bit called uh, Morning Zoo Bits of the Day. Okay. So then we're just like... Oh, that's somebody's zoo. It's zoo one of someone's awful fucking oh, shit God. song They put it parody. on their show thinking, wow, this is going to get people listening. Oh, God. Hold on. Is they that... produced that. Somebody yeah. spent some time on GarageBand and made that. <laughs> yeah. Well, you want to hear Rock'em? Wait, Kid like, Rock'em? You know, Rock every time I do one of these zoo shows, because I, you know, when I work at club, I'll have to call in the morning before to all the radio stations. Yeah. If I don't go personally. And the person that was right before I go on on the phone always says, um, the fellow you're going to hear is, his name is, you know, whatever, a cow face. <laughs> um, uh, Zach Jack is the guy with a deeper voice. And then the woman is Linda or whatever. <laughs> I'm like, you don't have to tell me. Like, I need to fucking know who the douchebags are on the radio that I'm <laughs> talking to. Oh, make sure that you're clear. Okay. And occasionally, a madman is going to chime in. Madman is chimes in. Madman will chime in. Oh, good thing I know that. Yeah. That's, that's their stunt boy. You don't yeah. really have to answer to madman, though. Do they think I'm going to, like, try to sound folksy by going, well, I'll tell you what, madman. Thanks for the question. <laughs> yeah. So you're, you're, like, you're, I'm not, you're like, local. I'm going to fucking bother saying their name. Uh, and we wonder why people don't want to do radio shows. Like, uh, we get pissed every day. Because uh, we're lumped in full shit. Hey, uh, MrBaconPants.com needs a plug, so why don't we give MrBaconPants.com. You're going to be talking to Mr. Bacon plug. Pants? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can we find out what Mr. Uh, yes, Jimmy? Mr. BaconPants.com is all about? Yes. I just want to talk to other fan. <laughs> has, has everybody noticed that he, you are him without a hat? You look exactly Wait, like him without what? a hat. Could someone? Could you put your hat on him for a second? <laughs> I want to talk to other fans for a second. <laughs> That's a little bit. Oh, I don't know. Uh, if I see it. Bugging me. <laughs> of course you see it. <laughs> Ew! This guy is. His name's Bill. What's Do you smell name? bacon? If you don't, that's my new. Bill for short. I don't know what Mr. Bacon Pants. Ah, whatever. But he wanted a plug. There you go. There's your plug. Fuck hey, Mr. Bill. Bacon Pants. Nailed, right? Yeah, that was a uh, oh, Jesus bacon flavored cat food. Asking. It's one of those things where um, he's still uh, wait, wait, wait. like, yeah, he's still there. wondering. Why is he staring at us? You're right. You're right there, Bill. What? Who's? I didn't hear you. Oh what? shit! What? There's a mic over there. What happened? Sorry. You're still in the room. What happened? Somebody just called my name. I think someone. Said Will. I don't think it was you. I'm sorry. Huh. What are you doing? Sorry. Because I said Bill just before. I said hey, it's Bill, but that was when you were over there, remember not that? when you were walking out the door. Mm. Do you remember? We were in the remember middle. you were over there. We were in the middle okay. of our Mr. Bacon Pants oh. bit too. You said I remember when I was over there. It's getting a little feisty. Kind of an interruption. We're in the middle of Mr. Little Bacon bit. Pants. Mr. Now. Bacon Pants. You know anything about that? We got top okay. uh, nine things to do with You're free to go. That I was going to read off. We'll, Thank you, Bill. We'll see you later. Your name Thank is you, Bill. Than from now on because he looks like Than. Oh, you dropped some. Oh, my God. He left. He looks military. Bill? Weird. Yeah. <laughs> Here's your line of the Bill's day. A creep <laughs> squared. Oh, God. He wouldn't go away. That was so funny. <laughs> Jimmy says his name and he just stands there staring at him. <laughs> I've never gotten anybody so well. He actually came I back know. And he came up. Back. I know. He fucking had a daiquiri. He actually came on the air to see what you wanted. <laughs> oh, by the way, we're. Uh, oh, that's fantastic. Someone else needs a plug today. Uh, please check out meatspin.com.
Meat spin. Yeah. That's a good one. That's a doozy. Hmm. Hey, I want to see the top things you can do with bacon. Thank you. Sleeping with bacon? Wait, go back. Go up. Oh, no. Up. Up. Nine things that might be weird with bacon. Oh, no. This is stupid. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Here, here's your line of the day. What's wrong with choses? Choses? Nothing. I like to choses from time to time. Could, I understood what he meant by it. Perhaps you should choses English instead of football. <laughs> Oosh. Damn. You just been pwned. <laughs> he followed it up with us. I didn't know that. Hey, that's all right. Man. That was a great line. All right, let's get the plugs in. Stephen Lynch on MySpace for his tour dates. Yeah. He'll be uh, performing with us on Saturday in Camden. Yes. Tomorrow in Boston. The last date of our comedy tour. Tomorrow in Boston where? Uh, Berkeley Performance Center. Oh, that's supposed to be a good room. Ooh, that's a yeah. nice room. A thousand seats, two thousand seats, nice place, right? I don't I used, know. I've never been there. I used to live around the corner. No one asked you. <laughs> you. That's where they uh, dumped off the nanny in the dumpster, close to there, right? Right. I guess so. I don't remember. Half a nanny. Half. I got a hand job from a skinny black woman there, <laughs> in, in the doorway of that building. Seriously. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Andy. It was very sad because I was like twenty-two. I was like a you know young guy with all my hair, and she's jerking me off. Kind of looked up at my face like. Really? You need this? <laughs> <laughs> you like, she even know, know like, yeah, what are you like, doing? Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, it's a great gig. You'll have a good time. I I'm going to think about that when I enter the building. Okay. That's where it was. It's probably still some of my jizz <laughs> clinging to the ground like a piece of gum. <laughs> you go on there, you're going to see some of Louis' potato place all over the... All right, <laughs> all right we get it. Uh, <laughs> I'm ready to read more internet addresses, but I have a feeling... The, th the authorities will come if I read any more of these. I'm not taking a chance. See, I'm <clears throat> smart. Yeah. We'll, we'll be in Philly tomorrow on Friday, right? Yes. I'm at, uh, in Orlando at the Hard Rock Friday. All right. And check out superdeluxe.com because me and Florentine did some stuff on there. All right. Can we play a Lynch song? Uh, what song do you want to hear? Here, not play. Uh, he throws his hands. <laughs> I don't like... want to hear any of my songs. <laughs> but I hate my songs and I'm tired of them. You can't be tired of them. They're good. That's exactly how you Zeppelin's going to gonna feel, man. You used to say you hated Broadway, remember? Uh, still do. All right. All right. <laughs> still do. What, what, what do we want to hear? Craig Christ, we played a lot, though. How about um, Killing Kitten? One. Or, uh, I would play that one a lot. Oh, we play a lot? I'm trying to think of one we haven't played in a while. That's all. Down to the old pub instead. Oh, uh, with I Anthony's like that. Uh, penny yes. whistle. Uh, I actually, I actually get to do a little solo in that one. <laughs> I like that. I'm great about that. <laughs> yes, we'll end with Stephen Lynch today. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you got it there, E Rock. You sure? I bet he's not. No, of course he's not. <laughs> all right, go ahead. Oh, good work, E Rock. See you tomorrow in Philly, man. Made up. Lad, it's your duty to find your lass With childbearing hips and a pink supple ass And make her your wife and love her with love so true Now some rivers run high, some rivers run low When her river runs red, then she start in her flow And it's called menstruation, here's what it means to you You will notice her bloomers are spotty at first Stand back, her ovarian dam's gonna burst Son, don't be afraid, it's a natural thing just wad up some cotton and hand her a string And put the old linens on top of the bed Get out of the house and go down to the old pub instead <laughs> Hundreds of years old <laughs> That's why bloomers Aye uh, yeah, yeah. Aye <laughs> She'll retain her water, her breasts will be tender Say something nice and you're sure to offend her Get out of the house and go down to the old pub instead 
makes you want to make love if you do. You're a fool. You'll only end up with a bloody old tool. Now get out of the house. Go down to the old pub instead. <laughs> She'll want you to sample the fruit of her loins. But, son, it'll taste like some old rusty coins. So turn off the light and take off your hat and drop to your knees. Say a prayer to St. Pat that will give you the strength to get out of the bed. And for Ireland's sake, go down to the old pub instead. <laughs> I, I feel a a solo coming on. Oh, really? <laughs> Perhaps right here, Anthony. <laughs> Very good. Now the pub is the place where the lads are a-meeting When the moon is full and the gals are a-bleeding The Catholic, the Protestant, even the pagan The pub is the place when your lady is ragging So drink of your pint, boys, and thank your shamrocks That as menfolk we don't have to bleed from our And that we can escape from the lady in red And get out of the house and go down to the old pub instead